Right. We this are Legends game. of Avantress. This is Icebound. Lend us your strength and join us. Are we back? Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Laura. Thank you, Morfe. Morfe. The oh, bits. The Thank you so bits. much. Andy what just the washed his hands just in time to K. touch those coins again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new rich ass. It's like chewing tinfoil. <laughs> oh, oh, that was so that fucking was close. close. Oh, did he get it? No. no. Thank you. Oh, you were no. rough. Both of them were so fucking yeah, close. Thank you. And that thank second you. one, I could feel it. I'm sorry. Thank you, Hanska, for the gifted oh, sub. Yes, Anna yes, Rose B, thank, thank you. you. Welcome to the family. Thank you. Um, all right, so let's play the intro again so I can get back into the mood. No, I'm kidding. Duh. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. Somebody needs to go. Oh, we're not going to do it. No, I, I just wanted to get someone started. He's just hyped up on Skier. He's, he's out of control. Mike, you've had five Skier. Nobody <laughs> could be more embarrassing than I you. thought it was there. How I many Skiers did track. you eat? <laughs> well, no, I said Mike Kelly. I eat Skiers by the sleeve. <laughs> this <laughs> says that there are four cups of milk in every serving of Skier. You've had a gallon of milk. <laughs> oh, no, I'm lactose intolerant. Diarrhea <laughs> is coming. <laughs> The unicorn explosion is coming! <laughs> they don't call me Skier Gobbler for nothing. They don't call me Skier Taster. They don't call me Skier Muncher. I don't munch, I don't taste, I don't nibble, I fucking gobble that shit. I was surprised you had the Skier Gobbler. No! That would also be, that's a, that's a yeah. synonym. This is, what, this is your fault, chat, for giving bits during the intro. <laughs> Next time we're waiting after the intro. I'm going to read all of this, and then we're going to thank people. <laughs> this is the last time. <laughs> we'll cut all this. It's going to be super uh, slick. Okay, yeah, yeah we yeah. cut it, and it faded in. We're all... Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do it? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> no, Mace, you That get, was for you! you get that was for you! Yeah. Wild for that! Thank you! <laughs> to be fair, yeah, that's basically perfect. Fuck you, Dad! Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect revenge on Derek. Don't make me shit! Taishan looks down and he sees his intestines starting to worm out of his belly button in a disgusting manner. <laughs> It's like an Annihilation starring Natalie Portman. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. You take a fucking inspiration. Oh, God. All right, I'm back here. Yeah. Play it. Play it. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, thank you, Monica Love, for the sub. Thank you very much. You oh, guys you. rock, and I love the laugh. You guys bring me happy you're part of the we family. We love you. We love We're happy you. you're part of the fam. Derek, you may, you may DM if you would like. I oh, wow. will. You stand now at the peak 
of a great mountain somewhere in the northwestern reaches of Drakkar. A place of power. From this vantage point you can see in all directions, even in the steadily dimming light. The day of winter solstice is almost over. The sun sits motionless and small on the horizon, and it is hard to ignore the beauty that can be seen. Forests, rivers, mountains, all glisten with texture and glimmering snow and shade and light. The five of you ascended to find this summit drawn by destiny, fate. You've learned and now understand the very gods themselves have guided you here and that you are burdened with great purpose. Champions. Though it is bitter freezing cold, especially at this altitude, that is not the most pressing concern for you and the travelers you now call your friends and allies. Family. A young, silver dragonborn boy's future and of the seasons themselves seem to now depend on what happens in this final hour. Looking around, the five of you stare into the faces of the Circle of the Woolly Rhino. Dozens of druids who have bound themselves to the land have journeyed here to perform this ancient ritual of life and death. A few dozen of them have reached this summit with you, readying themselves to beckon the sun to begin its journey back to the world. Should the ritual fail, so they say, the boy will not be restored, and the sun will shrink from the heavens, and a year of winter and darkness will fall upon the lands of Drakkar. The archdruid of these dragonborn kin, an ancient woman who eschews a resolute wisdom owing to her many centuries in this brutal realm, speaks out to you and to her kindred. Though her voice seems barely a whisper, it carries well over the gusting winter winds that surround you. We must save the seasons. We must save spring. We must call the sun back to us. What happens next? It's up to you. <clears throat> How can we assist you? First, we must determine who the mother and father of Midwinter are. <clears throat> they will perform this final act. As she starts to speak, gets darker and darker and you can see that sun is shrunk no longer the size of a thumb certainly but even smaller and smaller to the the the, the size of a head of a pin uh, the, uh, uh, like the stars around it in the sky which are now brilliant uh, you can see nebula and, and flows in all directions uh, in this clear night sky never has it been so brilliant even at night it seems it's shrinking away so so cleanly Do you have any tokens? <clears throat> oh, my, uh, my friend, uh, Yornir here, Mr. Yornir, has quite the lion's share, and I'm going to attempt to very stealthily, um, pat his arm and, uh, exchange tokens. And, like, put it into, like, you probably have, like, pockets and shit on your seal biz, right? <laughs> <laughs> or a rolled sleeve. Sorry. You probably have a cuffed sleeve at the end. You gotta just do the classic handshake. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. To uh, me? Yeah, yeah. It's your Mr. Midwinter. He's like trusting you, yeah. To like... <laughs> I'm gonna lean in. I'm not. No, I'm no shaman. And I'm going to uh, do, attempt to do that as stealthily as possible. Make a sleight of hand check. Oh, also, there's six crab legs on that just suddenly grow out of my back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Why? I'm level six! Uh. <laughs> Wait, is that a permanent, like, form change? Uh, you can, be, it, as a beast barbarian, you can decide how your body changes to grant you three different things, and I chose climbing speed. 
So now I can just climb. Uh, <laughs> horrible, disgusting guy. You are an abomination. Is that, is that actually going to be permanent? Are we all going to have to imagine you with No, legs? I was going to basically, whenever I wanted to climb, I would. Okay. <laughs> That's somehow supposed to be better? Yeah. So it was like Wolverine except crab claw, <laughs> crab legs. No, it's like the iron spider. It's Wolverine yeah. at the, <laughs> there's the red lobster, bub. <laughs> I'm, picturing, I'm picturing them like Akira. Like they just like burst out and disgustingly morph into shape. And then suddenly... so just, I'm not happy with this. I'm, I, I'm going to turn into crab dot. I'm turning into the shotgun maze. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Evolved to crap. Yeah. Um, what Me, was I supposed to do? Sleight of hand. Oh, sleight of hand. I, <laughs> sleight of hand. <laughs> what am I, what <laughs> I supposed to do? Sleight of hand. Wayne well, probably. Geez, Louise. Well, we have 80,000, so thank you, Anonymous Cheer, because if I fail, I'm just going to twist it. Yeah, we got you, fam. Oh, the, I, the first to die. This is heavy now. Like, oh, yeah. Lord. Is it 21 enough? Probably. I would hope so. But you don't know if. She's, know. Oh, she's high wisdom. Oh. Mm. Uh, it is. Um, she either notices and says nothing, or you are successful in passing what number of tokens to oh. your name. Um, I don't know if we kept track of our. I didn't tell you to keep track of your tokens, so no, does everyone have an I idea had. of how many tokens? I think you had eight. I, I have that number. I had, like that's because I had eight. I had one more. I had, like, seven. I had seven. So I, okay. Nick, I know I, I have one. So so Barnabas had one more. Had one less than Queenie. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. So I had seven. I had like maybe four or five, uh, like. Okay, I kept checking. Because I was gonna give mine to Scrim so that Barnabas and Scrim could be the go fishing. Yeah, <laughs> could go fishing. The mother and father of winter. Uh, the um, arch druid seems uh, to be distracted. Uh, uh, she's actually going and verifying the number of ch- uh, tokens that have been won by many of the other druids. Um, but she does turn and come back to you, uh, Scrim. Uh, did you participate in the games? Um, her looking at me, you can. She can see that I'm. Extremely pale mm-hmm. for being a green goblin and a little sweaty too, mm-hmm. even though it's very cold. Uh, 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 I, I participate. I, I didn't win any tokens. No, no, no. I didn't win anything. No, no. Mm. Yornir, were you uh, uh, gaming on the side of the mountain? Do you have tokens to uh, potentially win the role of father? I do have tokens, yes. You present them. And I'll hold out eight. Uh, I won one of these, and Barnabas gave me the other seven. <laughs> a gift, <laughs> a midwinter gift. That is very honorable. Oh yes, every every midwinter, I give gifts. Yes, that is very honorable. Thank you for honoring our traditions. I thank you. I and Taishen. Good luck. Uh, are you able to best eight? I think that may be our highest number. No, I certainly can't. I have four <laughs> that tokens. Is, that is still a worthy number. Where's half of Mr. Yorniers? Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, Queenie. Yeah, I have eight too. You want me to give you mine so that you have more than four? You seem really upset about it. No, I'm quite content with mine. I was only uh, the comparison between... Mine and your nears I thought was a little unnecessary, <laughs> but I'm completely fine with four. I think I think you did a great job. I think you did a great job. Thank you. I think four is a really, really nice number. Thank you. And your near wouldn't even have eight if it hadn't been for Barnabas. That's true. He had one going in. Yeah, so you would have had more than him to begin with anyway. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What was the question? I was just trying to make Tyshen feel better. Eight tokens. Yeah. Return them. I caught that cheese. I, it has been it many years since I have fast. been limber enough to catch the cheese. Yeah, well, I'm a bunny folk, so... Well done. Thank you. Not only do we have champions brought here, and she's speaking to the rest of the Drakarian druids at this time, champions who uh, have been brought here to aid in the protection and the saving of our own land, but we are honored to say that these two... Sp- Those who we would have called strangers this morning and are now great friends, Queenie and Yornir, as father and mother, to bring back the child. Everyone erupts in excitement. Uh, Can I ask how we're supposed to do that? Yes. First we must return out of the circle to the uh, patch of earth here, uh, uh, just beyond. There we are going to lay down the boy and... 
I, I will explain the rest as best I can while also uh, speaking the words of our of our ritual. I don't have to get nasty with Yorni or anything, right? Uh, no, that it, it, all right. Because where I come from, our mid like our midsummer festivals have a lot of we're buddies, so I just wanted to make sure. That would have been if you'd been on the cliff. That is a very common occurrence, but not <laughs> not in this final ritual. No. You mean that when that boy fell from the cliff, there were you know what I don't no, want to know. No, at the camps with the games, people often go and find the private place. Do they get tokens for that? Uh, not the physical token and the, the towards becoming for mother and father, but sometimes other kinds of tokens Worth are asking. awarded. Please, um, uh, return to your things here and uh, 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 ready your minds. Uh, we will be asking the sun to return, uh, the literal boy, and also the, the, the sun itself. All right. Taishen, you can help, I think. As I speak, will you translate for Queenie and Yornir? Because we don't speak the conic. I'll do my best. Oh, wow. I don't know if I do. Can you read? Well, Mace. oh, Taishen can read, yes. No, Mace, can you read? Oh, <laughs> no, I mean, good thing I'm playing Taishen. <laughs> well, <we're laughs> the champions will provide aid. With their strength, we will see the next dawn. Now, and she pulls out a small satchel. Um, first, we must lay down the boy. Um, and I don't know if you actually, you're actually still carrying him. I think that you would have put him down before you would have yeah. crossed the threshold and stood out at the edge of you the did. cliff. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Um, Place him down. I think in the in the clearing. She gestures originally. for you to uh, uh, pick up Donus and bring this child to the center of this uh, uh, earthy mound. Uh, it's still uh, covered with a thin layer of um, snow, but all of the footfalls and everything, you can see this rich, earthy um, uh, soil underneath. Uh, and gently, you uh, may place the body. Yeah. Uh, I'd pick him up, careful to still treat him uh, like very kindly, you know, carry him over to the uh, patch of earth and lay him down. Next, we plant at his head this seed the annual seed of our tradition, one that we will water, one that we will ask the sun to bathe in light. We will use our craft all together to let it grow and emerge, allowing the child to be reborn, signal signaling the sun to return to its full power. It's in this moment, Queenie, that you realize that you have your own seeds. Yeah, no, I do. She takes the seed and hands it to Yornir. Oh, you must grant gift the seed to Queenie. Then you must pierce the soil and allow the seed to be planted. Queenie? Yornir. I give to you on this Midsummer's Day this seed. And she speaks in Draconic, the first four lines. Sadly weeps the mother. The tears that fall are bitter, flowing down her visage till they reach her garment's border. Queenie. Kneel, kneel beside the child. All right. And I'll kneel beside the child. As though you were truly his mother. Speak to him. Ask him to return. All right, my sweet boy. I've talked to you many times today, and you know that all I want for you is, is to have the best life you possibly can. If there's a chance at this working, at all, you need to come back to us, all right? There's so much more you have to live for. Bring the sun back with you, okay? We miss you. And I'll, like, place my hand on his on his cheek. <clears throat> she continues to chant, and the druid circle gets a step closer in now. 
uh, uh, forming this larger circle. Uh, then she speaks the next four lines. Then adown her silken stockings, till they touch her shoes, and then beneath her shoes, flowing on and flowing ever. You're near. Make a sight for the seed. Um, I'll nod and I'll kneel down, and are we like in the center of the mound? Yeah, okay. dead center. So I try to like as centered and most centered as I could. I'll sort of, you know, I'll, I'll lay my uh, staff down, and I'll take both hands and sort of very gently spread the soil. Does it sort of move, or do I? would I need, like, a tool to... Uh, you are surprised by how um, uh, gentle it, it is. Um, it, it, it's almost like a, a, a wet, earthy summer soil, despite the freezing cold all around you. Oh. You're able to separate it with your hands. <clears throat> so I'll just make a... A nice deep well based on, you know, my herbalism experience, however deep that I think makes sense for a seed uh, like that. And I will, once I think it's appropriate, I'll uh, grab my staff and I'll stand back up. Okay. Um, stay, stay seated. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I put my staff back speak, down. Speak to the boy as if he were your own child. Ask him to return. Young dragonborn boy. You willingly ended your life for this purpose, but this does not have to be the end. If you feel that your life ended too soon, please do come back to us. But if you feel that your time has come, we will accept your choice. She speaks the next four lines of the ritual. Part to earth as its possession. Part to water as its portion. The teardrops fall and mingle. Form they streamlets three in number. It is tradition for us to then water the seed. But Barnabas, I wonder... Given your matron, is there some way that you might be able to step in? And in this moment, there's a a, a, a bit of an un, a discomfortable um, uh, voice from behind her. One of one of the druids uh, uh, steps forward. Uh, we we cannot break uh, tradition of of this kind. Uh, this is this is too much. We have already quiet. <clears throat> Traditions were broken from the start when these champions witnessed the death of this child unwillingly. We must be capable of adapting, Barnabas. Uh, with all due respect, uh, and by adaptation and constant evolution and change is what I live for, but you sure the salt won't kill the seed in the water that I can provide? We are druids. We will be enriching the soil and causing this seed to grow by our primal magic. I am confident that you will not salt the earth. Well, no better place to draw precious water of life. And I'll reach down and I'll pull out my, uh, uh, what you call it? What do you call them? Oh, the shell. The, yeah. shell. the shell. The shell. No, what's the color? Like the color? The Pearlescent. iridescent. Pearl, the pure, uh, pearlescent. pearlescent. Iridescent shell. And I'll step over the mound and I will whisper something into the uh, top of the shell uh, with the intention of not it not being audible. And then I will uh, turn it over, and a very small uh, uh, dripping of seawater. Will uh, just will run out of it, and e each of you, and in the druid, uh, uh, some of the druid's eyes they swell up. It looks just like a mother's tears, and this seems to have a great connection, a symbol of meaning to them. Uh, uh, they take a step closer. Scrim. What we need is a chance. What we need is. 
fortune. Do you have a way of making a, a guess, a, uh, a, 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 a random idea or, or something along those lines? <clears throat> uh, sorry, uh, look, I, I gotta be honest with you. I've been stuffing my face all day. And, and it's really starting to roil right now. I was tripping balls for like eight hours. And I'm really coming down right now. And I just had one hell of an experience out on that cliff. But, but I, I think I might be able to help. Uh, I, just, I just need a minute, all right? I need a minute to think. That is fine if you do not want to protect. I know the venom you speak of. And it is, you are not required. This is not mandatory. But we are in this final hour working together. I'm inviting you to... Typically, we, we flip a coin. It's very simple. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a bit more mandatory than you probably realize <laughs> for me. Uh, okay. And visibly shaking, I will reach down into my coat, find my uh, coin purse, and pull out a gold coin. Mm -hmm. And I will, uh, s still shaking and sweating and, and pretty pale, um, I will uh, focus on the coin. Um, fear that I'm going to draw upon this magic and uh, flip the coin in the air as I cast Idea. And, uh, why is it not here? It's not, on my, it's not on my spell list. I might have to fix it. It might have gotten taken off my spell list, but I have Idea um, and I'm going to cast it. Okay. Uh, so the gold, as I flip the gold coin and it, it reaches the, the apex of its flipping, it will vanish. You hear a few. <gasps> From the from the the crowd of druids, uh, uh, seeing a magic that they wouldn't be familiar with. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. No, no. I, I checked it off. Okay. <clears throat> now, before we speak the final words, Queenie at the head in the sight that Yornir has made, as mother, plant the seed, and we will begin the final moment. I will take the seed that's in my hand and I will slowly place it down into the hole. Okay. Uh, you nestle the seed down, and you start to hear the words of the chanting ritual again. Last lines, all the way to the end. Flowing in the silver sunlight from each rock upon the summit grow hillocks clothed in verdure. <laughs> On the summit of the tree, she sings, love, oh love. The druids all start to step forward and they start to clasp their hands together like this towards the sky in the direction of the, of the sun. They start to bring their hands together and the, the arch druid starts to join. And you all having contributed to this ritual, I need to, everyone who contributed to make a nature check. Oh, do I get to, uh... Ooh, do I get to add my plus five bonus from the end? Yeah, let's fucking nice. go. Nice. Nature is where I'm sort of a viking. I'm not, I get plus one. And then I got another plus five, come on. Scrim, don't fuck me. I got a 16. 16? 18. 18? Oh. Uh, Queenie? I'm gonna 17. Twist it. twist it, yeah. One or two. Barn or both? A uh, 14. Fine. Better. Uh, 19. Much better. 19. Uh, Queenie, you push the soil over and you're watching uh, and on your knees here, uh, staring at the body of the boy, um, looking at the disappearing light. Uh, you're near, you're seeing the same. Uh, you're hearing uh, some chanting, uh, but mostly just uh, in draconic love, oh love, they're capturing this, uh, uh, trying to perhaps capture light almost, trying to beg. Uh, and this happens for five seconds, 10. Another minute starts to go by, and the druids start to slow some speed up. They're looking at each other a little bit more now, starting to pull at the sky. What are you all doing as you're watching them start to lose momentum in these final moments? Do I get a sense, does any of this feel familiar to me? Like this mm. ritual, like, if I joined in, do I feel like, like I could contribute? 
Or are they um, doing something beyond just the ver- the somatic component? Like, is there some sort of other? it feels it feels like their somatic um, uh, a a kind of somatic gesture that is intended to intended to focus um, their druid craft is what they're using, and specifically uh, try attempting to focus. Um, uh, on the sun, uh, like if they were doing this uh, for um, the equinox ritual equivalent, and it required druid craft, there might be like a gathering or a pushing away motion. But they're effectively using druid craft. So if you wanted to join them and also use yours, then you would be able to uh, make that attempt. And- yeah, absolutely. I would lean my staff up on a yeah, rock or from near the horn, something, uh, and then I would just sort of seeing what they're doing. I would just kind of join in and. And to the best of my ability, mimic what they're what they're doing. I don't get the sense that I poison the seed with salinity, do I? <laughs> um, she just, told me to do it. <laughs> Your fault. Make a. I think just straight intelligence check. Imagine that that 20, thought occurs 21. to me. Oh yeah. Um, the wow. she, told me she, she was very confidently um, saying that you know it, it, this this would be something where if there was salted earth a druid with druid craft I would judge in my in my ruling as DM that they would be able to desalinize uh, uh, earth and and be able yeah. to bring uh, nature back to uh, something that had been overly salted and what you put in were but a few drops. Okay. I'm curious, fam. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still nervous. <laughs> what? Does it seem like this seed that we put in was some kind of special seed, or that the seed it that the seed itself matters at all? It seems, or as long as a seed grows, it seemed to be um, a, a seed that they've used in, each time they do this uh, this ritual. So perhaps they they go and they acquire it on a pilgrimage or on one of the other special holy days that they mm-hmm. have, and then they bring it here and they have to replant it each year over and over okay, and over. So it, it does seem special. Um, it does seem special to uh, uh, these druid, uh, to these dragonborn druid, for very much. Okay. But if you wanted to make an intelligence check, you could do that. And they start to stop. I'll stop with them. No time left. There's just a few minutes left. We must continue to try. The Archdruid herself is starting to feel stressed, starting to feel uh, you can tell that uh, she she and her brethren all had this great confidence that there wouldn't be this year of, of true darkness and true winter uh, approaching so so um, darkly and uh, they, they're, they're tr- some are trying as quickly as they can others are even openly weeping um, um, not just because of the uh, oh, bad omen but also because of the loss of this this young boy. Kalisha, don't you have sudden stuff you can do? You're a fireman. <laughs> I can only draw upon the sun's power. I can't summon it. I don't. I, I'm not connected to these magics they're pulling upon. I, I, well, I have a feeling if you aim it right there, right over their heads, where it doesn't scorch anyone, it might help their... You think if I draw upon the sunlight, perhaps it will be a little bit extra oomph, and I'll try like possibly <laughs> knock you several feet to the. Oh. <laughs> um. Well, I'll try anything if it can help. Uh, is the is the sun still out? The, the sun is almost is indistinguishable from the stars at the horizon at this point. It it, it looks There's like it stars. has. It looks like it has effectively um, vanished, for lack of a better term. <clears throat> Would you say that the material component of sunlight is present? Uh-uh. Oh. No. Oh, we are in deep shit. <laughs> oh, boy. This um, is not good. Wow. 
Aren't stars just suns? <laughs> <That's what laughs> <I'm laughs> This is starlight. Non magic sunlight? shit. Yeah. Otherwise, oh God, vampires. Tell it to a vampire or yeah. sunlight <laughs> sensitivity yeah, yeah, yeah. or fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, yeah. Um, I outstretch my uh, claws towards the sunlight and attempt to to draw. Well, where I assume the where, wherever I had seen it go ending at the uh, midsummer yeah. point of the horizon, I, I attempt to uh, harness its power. You're looking straight west, and you can see the broad uh, uh, crown of Drakkar, this massive piney forest, uh, and uh, uh, just above it, you're focusing on that area. Um, make a Arcana check at disadvantage. Mm. In the last moments of summer, oh, bummer. <laughs> the last rays of... Twist it! Do I have to call it before the roll? No. No. Can so I twist just one? You have to just determine one? whether you have one yeah, or two. Yeah, this is basically just a new roll, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just one. Just do all one. Do one. And Thank we'll you, Anonymous Cheer. Thank you, Anonymous Cheer, and Thank all the other cheers. Everyone who's supporting. Everyone. Absolutely. Better? It's better. All right. Oh, shit. I like better. 11. Okay. You attempt to channel and you focus on all of your arcane magic. You've, you've, you even feel uh, it, uh, 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 emboldened by the um, power that has been bestowed to you uh, just, just moments ago. And still, you cannot pull sunlight from the sky. What, what, uh, what's wrong? It's, it's no use, I can't. I can't feel the sun. I can't. What, what? What do you mean you can't feel the sun? No, 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 no. This, this is really bad. Oh, you know that's oh. for you. That's very. Oh bad. god! All the cookies and meat. It's all gonna come up. Oh, oh god! Oh god! I feel sick. <laughs> this is my fault. I. It is my fault for delaying the ritual. I must. She. She walks out, out, out from the circle of people, away from the boy, away from the planted seed, away from the five of you, and she goes back into the center of the um, uh, uh, the monuments, the monolith uh, uh, circle at the top, uh, just at the edge of the cliff. There on this dais, you can still see that same massive horn uh, that uh, uh, is perhaps a holy relic for them, and she is. Whispering, You cannot make out what she says, but she's putting her hand out and looking down, shaking her head, attempting to consult something, trying desperately, hopelessly, hopelessly, hopelessly? Hopelessly. Ho- hopelessly for some sign, some uh, 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 change, some, some uh, idea. Oh, God, I don't like this at all. Barnabas, be ready. They might turn on us at any minute. I, I, they're going to think this is our fault. Or we caused something to do with this. They're, they're, they're going to gang up on us. I'm uh, still looking down at the boy. You only did what you did because they said they could bring you back. And it's not working. So, I don't know if this can help. I don't know if it's going to ruin it all. But at this point, nothing's happening. And I'm going to reach towards your near. Make, make that hole again, your near. Right next to where we planted that seed. I'll nod and I'll lean down and I'll I, I don't want to uncover the seed but next to it I'll make a uh, another hole and I'm going to take one of the seeds from my pack and I'm going to place it down into the earth and then I'm going to start crying and I'm going to let my tears fall over the face seeds as I slowly start to cover them up you do this and you both uh, silently hear the, the wind blowing uh, you don't feel the eyes on you uh, you, you lose sense of your friends. All you feel is this terrible, terrible sadness in the deepness of your heart. And a sprout emerges. You feel this sudden shining glow, and you turn, and underneath the hand of the archdruid, This horn has an outline of faint blue magical energy glowing, starting to get brighter and brighter, and you can see this delicate, fragile, small little sprout start to pull up and up and up, and a smaller second leaf twists and winds its way around. You 
barely see the green, and not only because it is dark, but because your eyes have glassed over from from the tears looking down, just staring at the boy and staring at this fey seat. And it twists and starts to swell, and you hear a sound of a single druid behind you. You hear more start to join in. She may have done it. She may have. The Archdruid races forward over to uh, where you're sitting. Its uh, offshoots are starting to grow. It, it, it becomes a, a slightly bigger, almost like a, a, a small fern almost. Uh, it starts to um, mature before your very eyes. You have to, you're forced to back up just a little bit uh, uh, away and it, the trunk is not like a single stem. You start to see uh, a chaotic and beautiful interwoven braid of roots forming a brilliant hole. Richly brown bark dresses the trunk of this cold forged tree, looking hardy enough to withstand even the coldest day of Drakkar. And it continues to grow. The sweet smell of amber fills the air even in the blowing winds, which begins to fill the pet- with petals of every color. Behind it, the sky erupts in light. Ugh. You are bathed in golden rays that shive through the intricate crown of branches as this massive tree uh, 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 arrives in mere moments, magically produced, thanks to your generosity. And your eyes don't leave the boy. He doesn't heal right in front of you. Instead, this broken body lifts very gently off the surface of the soil. The light itself from the side is blinding. So blinding, in fact, that for a moment you just lose sight of him and blink. And there, standing in those same brilliant golden rays, it is replaced by a standing, breathing young boy, completely alive. I have never met you. I just want you to know that I love you. All right? The boy doesn't say a word. You don't have to say anything at all. You don't even you don't even get that the far. Tears are just you don't even get that my, far. My His face. arms are around your neck in a great bear hug. And I just uh, I a, hug a on cub to him. hug. <laughs> you sweet, sweet, precious thing. You better promise me. I don't even know if we speak the same language. I don't care. You better <laughs> promise me you're going to do everything you possibly can with every single day of your life for the rest of it. You live it to the fullest, my friend. You, okay. You can hear his chin shaking. Uh, yes, but also from the emotional experience. It's just uh, just occurred, and the crowd of dragonborn around you, who had felt such despair for so long, suddenly erupts in uh, uh, excitement. The song of of the ritual complete begins to chant from their from their mouths. They are grabbing each other, waltzing, dancing, finding partners, singing and screaming, smiling and crying. I'm you have done to, it. I'm going to move. I'm going to ignore them. I'm going to move back room. I'm going to grab his face. You did this. Everything that happened here today, it was because of your sacrifice. Don't you ever forget how strong you are. Don't you ever forget what an amazing person you are. It, it was like my like third or fourth time, actually. It's, 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 it was, it's, it's all right. I'm going to pretend it was your first, because you are crazy. Thanks. I'm Donus. Who are you? I'm Queenie. It's nice to meet you, Donus. Pleasure to meet you. You're new, huh? Yeah. You're apparently not. She looks over uh, at, at Yorner. Wow. Two strangers, one? That's amazing. You guys must be real gamers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I believe what Queenie did back home, they call that a pro gamer move. <laughs> what did you do, Queenie? Well, I was, I was afraid that your seed was not working, and... I have seeds of my own. You have seeds of your own? They're seeds from the Feywild. I do not recognize this tree. What? Do you know the name of it? Do you know what can you... I don't know anything about it, if I'm being honest with you. My best friend passed away many years back, and he left this pouch of seeds for me, and I don't have many of them, and so using them is very... I use them very preciously, I will say. You uh, have saved us from a terrible year. Uh, 
year of darkness that few survive. Mm, centuries ago, when it happens, it is devastating. You indeed are a champion. It was a group effort. Scrim flipped the coin, and Barnabas probably said something gross into his shell and got <laughs> water out of it. And, you know, Tashen can read, so... In Draconic. Yeah. <laughs> he, he translated in, like, real time. Like, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't like... <laughs> my spectacles? People are laughing and um, uh, dancing. They're starting to spread back out now. Um, amazingly, the, uh, the sun is starting to set. Oh, Donus. Yeah. I caught the cheese. Wow, I've never caught the cheese. Well, you've been dead, apparently. Well, I mean, on the times that I do, don't do not do that, and one of the other guys does it, then yeah, I try to catch the Jump. cheese every time. That's the trick. Jump. Jump. All then right. you'll, you'll face plant, you'll skid ahead of everyone else, and then you can get back up and catch the cheese. Hey, where's the milk? The donut screams this, and you can see that at the top, they're, they've brought what is clearly celebratory woolly rhino milk <laughs> that is saved for the end of this ritual celebration. And they're handing out flagons of this delicious, grassy, milky brew. <laughs> <laughs> when the DM twists the knife. Out of my way! <laughs> <laughs> your anchor is right there. Yeah. Um, uh, and all of your uh, metal items that you left behind before you went into the circle uh, are, are uh, just adjacent to the um, the neck of the mountain just before it starts to twist back down to the camp. But it's almost difficult to see them through the crowd of people who are now, uh, 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 you know, keep arm in arm, swimming around each other, just... Uh, uh, having a relief of joy in addition to their celebration of nature and life and death in this way. I'm going to be grabbing my hand is absolutely gargantuan. I will be grabbing I will little, as fitting as many cookies as I possibly can into my hand and then fitting as many I can fit into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cookie monster. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I'm spraying in all directions. I don't need actually any of it. It all just sprays out because I'm a fucking puppet. <laughs> well, it has been some time since it has been uh, so close. I am tired. Uh, young child. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Sure. Does the horrible pain of death not deter you from volunteering year after year? I... The falling is really quite fun, and, and honestly, I I think it might be the ritual, the impact. I, I, I don't have any memory of anything. Once the wheel gets a certain size, it just... All of a sudden, I'm given this... Uh, the wonderful lady, a hug, a uh, queenie. I see. Well, I'm glad that the sun is back, I suppose. I'll return looking like a really disgusting God Milk commercial. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Just go back with to your Triton mouth. You've got a big mustache. We don't want you. My, my, like, the bald top of my head is like sweating with seawater. Oh, Jesus. You got your crab claws out and they're all holding Oh, yeah, no, my crab leg just sprouted out just involuntarily. They just sort of, they just sort of... Yeah. It's like those things in, uh... The plasmoids. Yeah. <laughs> you must. <laughs> That's a like horrific trombone uh, pantomime there. Um, uh, one of the other dragonborn comes up. Uh, well done! You have uh, succeeded in uh, bringing back the child. And uh, they, people are like slapping you on the back, uh, uh, just feeling the ebb and flow of victory. Oh, I was on edge, but oh, now that I've had some milk, oh, I thank you. This is worthy of a celebration. Curiously, the sun is now setting. It seems to be back on its path. Where it had frozen in place and started getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer, now, instead of having a full rotation over the uh, over the sky, it's darkening. This beautiful red alpen glow is ca being cast across all the mountains around you over the surfaces of the trees um, before it starts to purple and turn to night. Um, the, the druids are starting to get a little quieter and... Uh, uh, in this moment, uh, uh, the Archdruid seems especially interested to stay with the five of you and hear where you're going next uh, to talk through um, 
uh, what it feels like to be champions. Tell me, it is. It, the, uh, the, 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 the great weight that is on your shoulders now to, to go and, and, and find this, or do whatever it is, this deed that you must do to save their car, what, how would you find your way? It is unclear, but we will find a way. We always do. I believe it is our fate. Now, the sun has set. We know that there is an artifact we need to find. And I think we know what the artifact is. We do. Aye. <laughs> oh, what do we think it is? Can we say that here? You spoke it of the armature... The hexature armament. armament. Aye. 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 It is a difficult word for me to say. And you do not know anything of this? Not in my long life or in my time with the circle of the woolly rhino have I heard a term like that. But in the southern uh, uh, central Dakar area, that was where our capital was when our empire was strong. It was not for me. I was always drawn to nature, and this was a place of arcane magics and civilization. A great stronghold there. But they had seeking magics, looking glasses. Uh, uh, I understand they had ways of even traveling the stars. That, that may be the place where you could at least find some instrument to seek out what you are looking for. Do you, in which direction is this place? You would be heading southeast. You would have to go around the spine of Durkar. Now that you are north, you... And she, um, in the snow, uh, she draws uh, sort of a shape. Is that an Easter egg? She draws, she draws a, an oval in the ground. Oh and she draws a smaller oval underneath it, and she points to the spine. This is a great mountain range. I s we are here just at its tip, just in the crown of the great forest of Turkar, but central Dakar, this is a plain, a, a, a great tundra, many great plains, Willy Rhino, you will find there. And here, just, just to the southeast, on the other side of the spine, is the capital I speak of. Mm. And we will be making our pilgrimage to the Southern Isle. There, by the time we arrive, we will be able to welcome spring. It is... All right, well, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. If you're going to an island, like, I should definitely go there. I do not think you will be able to join us, but thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Based on what I know Whoa. about how far north we are versus going south and it being colder, do I feel like it'd be dangerous to go back south? You would expect that it will be like walking backwards from where you were coming from, that, that you were walking into winter. Uh, it would be a dangerous journey. It would be back into the, the cold. Doesn't sound like we have a choice, though, do we? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm unfamiliar with the expressions of this land, Th this place we seek, these people. You, you said they have a way of traveling the stars? It was not something I was terribly knowledgeable about, but uh, those who would have called themselves wizards in our people before, before we were scattered by the Princess of Wrath. Shh. They had ways of traveling to other worlds. Great magics. Why, it was the princess that caused your empire to fall. One dragon. Her and her clan, the uh, clan of the Frosthammer, I believe. A great warlike creatures but 
Chiefly, it was her great strength. As she was able to take us by surprise, ambush us. She killed all of us. Every one of our people. Well, out of curiosity, you know, mind Mr. Yornir, did, you, did your folks ever, uh, these wizards or other fancy learning types, build anything out of, I think it was basalt? Perhaps manipulating time and space? Oh, God, don't even mention it! <laughs> uh, perhaps that had something to do oh. with it, Mr. Stabiscotch. I'm really going to throw up now. No, you would not make a structure... Uh... But, uh, we would make perhaps trinkets. Uh, if you think of, uh, there are fjords in the uh, northeastern uh, n- areas of Dakar, uh, but these are small rocks, not not fit for uh, settlement building. Aye. All right. Well, one less thing to worry about, Mister Stambuskov. Well, is it is it one less thing to worry about? Because I still think it's a very big thing to worry about that we haven't gotten to the bottom of yet. What is it you speak of? Oh God, here we go. Hey, Mike. Can I have one of your skiers? Yeah. That's awesome. I've always wanted to try it. <laughs> Sorry. I keep looking over. You want skier? I do. I keep looking over and I'm like, God, I want some skier. Oh, you, you, little, you really do like some skier. You can have some of my milk. Fine. I, get, I kept a little extra in my beard. Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> you just got skiered. Oh. Want to hear some cookie crumbs? Uh, oh, God. Please, I would be interested. Uh, what is this structure you speak of? We went to a terrible cursed tower. Was it a tower? Was it a statue? What was it? In the, a structure. In the southwest. Aye, southwest. It was cursed. It was in Monolu. Terrible cursed place. On an island as well. It was tainted. It did not look natural. It was placed there. And when we approached, we lost weeks of our lives. As if, for us, no time had passed. We didn't starve to death. We didn't freeze to death. No time had passed at all. And it's almost as if it singled out our captain and killed him. Hmm. We came to and... Minutes later, his thigh bone was snapped in half. A cursed place. It has been, I cannot say how long, many years since I have been anywhere in the car that was not a holy sight like this. I cannot imagine how the world has changed. That is very curious. Never even heard of anything like this out in Drakkar before. Only the the southern island uh, is a beautiful place, uh, uh, a place of almost pure ice. It's gorgeous, but it is just uh, the one island. It is where we will welcome spring when the time comes. Is when it, 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 sorry to interrupt. Is this the same island you speak of? There is only one island to the south. Just the one. Then it must be the same one. Out of character, it was on an island, right? Yeah. Out of character, it was on an island, and I would say that you saw two. I would two say islands? That, I would say that you would be, uh, that when you were at the, the Basalt Tower, very far in the distance, you would have seen a secondary island that would have been uh, unreachable because of the ocean. So, out of character, the druid ancient millennia old druid of the land who knows the land is saying there should not have been an island that we were at that is what you are starting to infer as you are having this conversation with the arch druid all of you wait what as soon as we make this connection uh scrub vomits (laughs) everything that he has been eating all day as royal, I just he loses it. Oh, you better out than I always say. <laughs> oh, oh. No, God, no, this is, can't be happening. Is that the, uh, is that the cobra venom in there? I don't, oh. I don't feel so good. Uh, uh, I'm going to kneel down into the dirt, and I'm going to 
Oh, Say. not in his. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, I'll kneel right in. No, know. it was off to the side. I turned away. Oh. You, you are saying <laughs> this is the only island to the south, but no, this there was another island, and I'll sort of draw where I think the island was. And it was on this island that there was the tower. There was not an island in sight from the southern isle when I was there last year. How does a new island just form with, 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 with an absolutely horrific thing like that on it? There are stories that I've heard mad sailors tell. Sunken cities and structures that are buried for millennia and when the stars are right, rise out of the sea. Perhaps we were on such a structure. This just keeps getting worse and worse. Well, are we sure it was even an island? Was it a black reef? Was it an ancient ziggurat built by creatures of the deep? I do not know. Is that a thing? Whispers of mad sailors have spoken of such things. Am I the only one that's absolutely (laughs) terrified of all of this? Shots! It's not right that this is for sure, but we knew this. It, it is not new to us that whatever was there was unnatural. It should not have been there. And the fact that the entire island was also this way does not surprise me. The night grows long. The, uh, grows. What am I trying to say? Late. Late. There is not much time before we must go. Bjornir. Yes. We have bound ourselves to this land. I feel that we are of a very similar heart. One with nature. As your attunement to the primal powers grows, I suspect one day you too may be able to do this with wherever you call home. I hope so greatly, yes. I see it. I see it in your future, not not through my sight, but in my heart. Thank you for including me in this ritual and this experience. And to everyone, good midwinter. Scrim, I heard the words you spoke on the cliff. What? Uh, I was pledging. Like everyone else. It is important for you to hear that as much as you must protect your friends and Drakkar in the next chapter of your life, that you must also protect you from you. Yeah, okay, whatever. (laughs) Queenie. (laughs) You are indeed very brave. Oh, thanks, sorry. I haven't been paying attention. I haven't been eating this um, Mamushin Provisions peach apricot and almonds fruit and nut skier. I've never had skier a day in my life. This is the thickest yogurt I've ever had. It's good, yes, isn't it? Filled with nuts. Uh, yes. Uh, I think that there were some nuts that came off of your tree, actually. Well, I'm going to hang out under that tree with mouth wide open because this is delicious. <laughs> I mean, it's dummy. It's dummy thick and filled with nuts. There's actually an old saying. No, never mind. <laughs> so you were saying, I'm sorry. That you are very brave, and I wanted to thank you for your generous gift on this midwinter day. Oh, that's fine. I I know you came in with much skepticism about our ways. I mean, you killed a child, so. Seems to enjoy it. I am. I have something very happy to tell you. This tree, it is for forever. Oh, yeah, I could have told you that. It is going to be here. We will not have to do that the next year we are here. But you don't have to kill any more kids? Not with this tree in place to call the sun to it. Look around for any kids. Hell fucking yeah. <laughs> and you see you see all the kids and they're like, Aww. Oh shit, sorry, I didn't see you there. <laughs> no death? <laughs> shit. Oh, no ritual sacrifice. <laughs> oh, but <Sure>. mom. 
we were so good. I, I wanted to jump this time. Bungee jumping hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> I wanted to splash across the center. And thank you for the ring. Thank you for the ring. Oh, sorry. Adventure, adventure tour. Welcome. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you. Just uh, thank you. Doing a little bit of RP. Doing a little bit of RP. Much you appreciated. Do, but thank you. Thank you. For the ring. Uh, appreciate it. Go check out Adventure Core. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Please appreciate the follow if you like the end. Or dummy thick skier. <laughs> tai Shen. Yes. <laughs> Why did you hesitate? I I thought you were going to follow up originally. <laughs> with that. Yes. You are. Uh, a very strong magical person. I see the same kind of draconic magic that pulsed through our veins so long ago. I think with more experience, you will be able. To, you would have been able to pull that sun back yourself. I only wish that I could have been stronger, but I'm glad that fate brought us here and that or whatever drove us here, and that Queenie's quick actions were able to save this ritual when it looked like hope was lost. And that now, we will not have to go through such lengths again. Barnabas. Aye? I don't know exactly what to say to you. You have a little something here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on there. <laughs> oh, no, hold on here. I, I, I carry a, a, a comb here. Carved it myself from a seashell mm -hmm. for the uh, exact, this exact purpose. In a way, you are becoming one with nature as well, I understand. <laughs> I one with the sea. I'm not much one for land, but I'm learning a lot here for Mr. Yorn here. Take care, Mr. Barnabas. I, I will. It we'll is. Take care of uh, everyone here, and uh, good midwinter to you and to you, Mr. Yorn here, and to the rest of you lot. The, I can safely say the best midwinter we've enjoyed for many centuries. Good luck to you, and as midnight approaches, I say, if you see the Princess of Wrath, avoid her if you can. She is deadly, but well, she if, you, her captain. <laughs> if you must fight her, know that you will be doing us a great vengeance. Give her hell. The other druids are walking away from the mound now. Some are some are going up and and touching the holy relic and and then and then uh, uh, packing up their own things and starting to make their way down uh, uh, to the next camp, making their way down the mountain. Um, you get uh, uh, a final hug from Donus. You feel it behind from behind you, uh, arms wrap uh, corporeally around your waist, and then uh, hand in hand, the Archdruid and Donus. Uh, Bye, it was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you too. You have fun on that uh, island. I'm not allowed to come. So. come. No, come to the Southern Isle for I spring. I was told that we'll, I can't We'll be there, there on the on the start of spring. Yeah, well. Well, you got Donus I'm not left. invited. What? Take it up with. What's I didn't face? say that we were not that they were not invited. That's kind of just what you that said. we could not join us on our pilgrimage. Oh well, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Bye. Like that, before you go. <laughs> and as they wave, you start That's to realize as they wave that you are seeing through them that frosty color that uh, covers their robes, the nature of their corporeality begins to be disappeared and disappeared? they fade. Yes, all of the all of them begin to evaporate. They're fucking ghosts the entire Straight time. Straight ghosts. Oh. And never... you are left on we the top a of a mountain break. top <laughs> hearing the howling winds. And that's where we'll take a coffee break. <laughs> were they actually ghosts? They were fucking Holy ghosts. Shit. I have not been anywhere else in Drakkar for centuries, only on holy sites. 
That's why I, I, I no, I, I thought I this was Derek. So no, no offense. <laughs> when you said they killed all of us, she killed everyone. Well, I'm, I'm like, okay, well, Derek is fucking up his words. I'm, yeah, I'm waiting for him to be like, except for a few of us. Yeah, rebuild. yeah, no, I was waiting. I'm like, what oh. the fuck? Yeah. I'm still Jesus. chugging balls. Ah! Yeah. We haven't seen any settlements. We haven't seen any dragonborn. Except Where'd for they this get mountain. the food from? Where's all this food for coming? We from? eat oh, this food. <laughs> 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 the five of you, the five of you stand now at the top of the mountain in shock. The figures all fade, disappearing one after the other as they make their way down the side of the mountain. And you realize that the five of you are alone, that it is bitterly, bitterly cold. The blowing wind swirls all around you. The tree persists but it is no longer covered in multi-colored uh, uh, petals and, and fruits and, and things. It looks like a wintered tree, uh, almost as if it's always been there. You know that it is forever, but it is now mm, transformed back to uh, the state that it will be in uh, for the rest of the, this winter. The paint, that multi-colored paint on the cairns uh, that had been adorning these monoliths disappears, fades into dust, weathered stone only now. Scrim, you feel a brand that had been a sensation on your chest, a cold brand, disappear from your chest. It's <gasps> as if nothing has, has ever, ever happened there. The pinecone honey that had been sitting at your side, Queenie, fades. The skier out of my hands. The fades. skier, the milk, all of those evidence, just just the few metal items that had been lying here in the snow that they ask you not to take into the circle uh, to approach the zone. That circle and the cliff edge is still there. And so is the dais with their holy relic, this horn still sitting there in the middle of this circle. And you realize how hungry you feel. It's been an entire day and you haven't had anything to eat as the food inside of your stomach fades. Oh, wow. <laughs> Barnabas, the gift of tobacco in your pouch that you said to say tobacco safe, but... disappeared. And you're near your treasured twig <laughs> of mistletoe. No! Gone. You bastard. <laughs> That's sick. That's sick. <laughs> but you look down with a smile on your face, Queenie and you realize there's no blood to clean off of your frock, off of your clothes. Because I'm vegan. <laughs> because you just performed a crazy sex act. No, no. Uh, because <laughs> because of the nature of the magic of this place and this holy site on this holy day. But you do still have a few stitched patterns to remember this day by that you seemingly had done for yourself. The five of you look into each other's faces when you hear a snapping of a twig and you see Daisy standing there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know how to how else to say this, young lady. They were ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, at least I'm here with the champions. You can feel the sarcasm in her hand gestures. Oh, you're just bitter you didn't catch the cheese. <laughs> well, it was ghost cheese, so what does it matter anyway? Well, someone still caught it, and it wasn't Daisy. I'm starving. Yeah, so are it's the rest free of us. We gotta get off this fucking mountain. <laughs> We're gonna die here. And I need everyone to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, what is this for? Is it against cold? I got a natural we one. Advantage, right? No, we just don't roll. We don't even. I thought it was advantage. You roll, oh. but you succeed in your roll. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I blew double natty twenties. Oh, oh no! My oh my god! A one in four hundred chance disappears into nothing like a ghost. <laughs> I'm not cold. <laughs> uh, no, you're not. But it is. It is meaningful whether or not you succeed or fail. I uh, succeed. You succeed. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> 14. 24. Uh, the DC is what? 20. If you succeeded, you take a uh, half of seven cold damage. Wait, what is it? What, what were we uh, saving oh, again? Is uh, it con save? Constitution saving throw. If you got 20 or higher, Even then... Barnabas and I will take half? You take half. We'll take quarter. But you, we'll you take half of half. All right, so we take two. <laughs> and uh, feel, shivering now, uh, freezing in, in this mountaintop, what are you all doing? <laughs> I, I, I don't know how long it's longer I can do this. We don't have, are we out of food? Where are we still out of food? What what happened? We we just had a lovely day. I mean a horrific day, but there were parts of it that were lovely, and now here we are and we're gonna die. I mean how long is it gonna take us to get back down to get to safety? There's no cover up here. We're gonna freeze to death. But more importantly, I'm hungry even though I just <laughs> throw up everywhere. <laughs> There's no throw up. It's like maybe a little bile. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing makes any sense anymore! But you're right, we need to get off the mountain. It is... It will get worse as the longer the sun is down. Let us go. And I'm gonna just... Well, no, before we go, though, I'm gonna... You'll see me, uh... Give me one moment. I'm gonna walk up to the horn and just sort of inspect it to see if I get any sense of... It being magical, is there anything carved on it? Leaving um, your metal items behind and uh, quickly crossing the threshold into the this uh, circle, uh, you walk up to it. Um, are you just uh, doing it straight, or are you using a, a, a feature or something? Um, I think I'm just I'm just inspecting it. I'm not like casting mag like detect magic or anything. I would say an Arcana check would be warranted in this situation. Mm. Arcana. Nice. To, to get a sense oh of its magicalness. 21. 21. The table. Um, this was uh, very clearly a holy relic for the woolly uh, rhino circle. And um, as you get closer, not only do you feel the power of the stones around you, um, uh, seemingly uh, uh, in tension with this uh, artifact, uh, as you approach it, um, it, it seems to enhance your emotion almost. You, you, you reach up to touch it, but it's uh, uh, it, it's almost fearful to put your hand on it because of the thrum that you get from it. it, 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 it even with a, a 10, you would have been able to get that close and start to realize that uh, touching this artifact without knowing its true power or, or how to ride that tiger would be a mistake. Do I get a sense of how I might ride the tiger? Touch it. Lift it off the dais. Do whatever you want. You can see his stripes, but you know he's clean, right? It's, it's the it's the fuck around and find out uh, uh, portion of the evening. Um, Yorny is gonna become the world shaman. Yorny is gonna become the world shaman. <laughs> oh, that'd be so cool. I don't know what oh, that means, but it sounds amazing. Thrall appears. <laughs> Yorny, join me. I, I totally forgot this. Elephant's uh, guy. <laughs> my 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 white eye will flash and glow uh, blue, and I will cast a tech magic, just to kind of get a sense of hey, if there's any. How does that how does that game. look? Well, uh, yeah, you can you can just cast to detect magic. Uh, but, yeah, I'm a uh, uh, how, what does it manifest? Um, I, I often th like to think of it like uh, 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 soft particles of magic show up, and then they sort of are attracted to things that are magical mm. and give you a school of magic kind of sense. But uh, you yeah. can flavor it however you like. Yeah, I always sort of see it as like you know in video games when like you put on some sort of special like you know like find all the hidden clues really easily and they like kind of glow like yellow or gold or something. Oh, the spear it. temple spyglass from Ocarina of Time. Exactly. Okay, exactly. so you go into predator vision and all yeah, of a sudden... 100%. Um... Yorny, what the fuck? Oh, no! I don't think that's wild shape! What the hell are you? Um, no, you, you uh, detect magic and uh, this is a powerful artifact. This is a legendary artifact artifact. This is ancient and uh, very clearly something that um, is sacred uh, almost uh, to the, not just to the circle perhaps, but even to the land itself. Uh, seeing that, I will set my staff on the ground or up against one of the stones 
and I will approach the horn, and I, with both hands, I will just touch it. Let's fucking go. Oh, my What a God. badass. Your arms are instantly disintegrated. I zest by your car. Oh, it's my God. Are we guys are farting and barking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> I almost didn't know what you were referencing, and I was very concerned. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know, chat. Yeah. Must uh, be some porn thing. <laughs> it's oh. definitely a porn yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. You blow that up in 4K and no one else is around. Anything can be porn. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say? Not my proudest fab. <laughs> I don't know. Willem Dafoe? I don't you know. That's not shameful. I definitely wouldn't call that shameful. Oh, you, God. It's about Three and a half, four feet long, tapering to a very fine ed, uh, point. Uh, oh, and you, so it's sort of like down there for me then. Uh, uh, yeah, but it's on a dais. Oh, okay. It's on a dais, so I would say um, that it's on about... A dais, on a dais, <laughs> on a dais. On a dais. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's, That's pretty, pretty good. That's pretty clever. I like um, that. One of my favorite songs. Uh, <laughs> and so you... Indiana Jones, you, p- you pick it up and uh, you lift Older it. Uh, <laughs> you immediately get a sense that this is a... Um, uh, this could be used as a weapon. That the 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 fact that it is so pointed, there's a sense of power that you are um, that feel immediate kinship with. Uh, this uh, mechanically could be a plus three, maybe higher type uh, uh, spear if you were going to put it on top of something like that. But you are as quickly as this uh, 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 th- threshold of energy uh, strikes you, so does the torrent of emotions that fl- flood through you. You go from extreme sadness when you connect with the your flesh with the with the object to tremendous anger and then uh, 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 jealousy and then uh, 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 flooding flooding through you uh, happiness you almost want to laugh out loud and then and then bark at the sky and in victory and fiero and then all of a sudden drop back down into Melancholy and, dep- and uh, depression. Can you, you please uh, RP this roller coaster of emotions? <laughs> Your ear's going mad! <laughs> He's a wild man! <laughs> He's a raving lunatic of madness! <laughs> Even for even for you, uh, someone who is uh, tremendously centered and who has um, uh, the uh, emotional qualities that Yornir has, um, this is uh, like riding a roller coaster, for lack of a better term. You're left, right, up, down. Uh, it's it's hard to hold, and and you're you're looking for some way out of that whirlwind of emotions, but it seems to be holding you. You you feel like you could turn around, but you continue to. Ha, 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 <laughs> That's what I, I can't even put it down inside your heart. Oh yeah, you you could put it down uh, uh, just as easily. You're not you're not paralyzed by this, but you are you you are uh, you feel cursed by the the emotion almost, just holding it, keeping it on your person. <laughs> I put it down. Uh, are you all right? Do you see anything from your your magical eye, Mister Yornir? It is extremely powerful. It is an artifact of some kind. Not the one we are looking for, but... Very holy. Extremely powerful. And deeply tied to every emotion. I'm exhausted. Well, I know what's going to make you feel better. What da- why do owls always get invited to bird parties? Because they're a hoot. Why would you ruin the joke? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to help your near feel better, and you just ruined the joke. Oh, I thought you were asking a serious question. To be fair, no, that it was didn't a sound joke. as though you were asking a question. You asked well, it aloud. That's because sometimes joke. You know what? We'll try another one. Why were the police suspicious of the blinds? Why? Because they were shady. (laughs) Well, thank you, Scrim. (laughs) You know what? I give up. Funny. Can we get the fuck out of here? When did you start thinking you ruled the show? 
<laughs> you guys clearly need a leader. Okay, well, I can't argue with that one. This is true. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What about the horn? We're just going to leave it here? Yeah, I mean, dude. it's like... I, 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 it could it could it benefit us in our in our journey? Oh, Why don't you go pick it up, Scram? Oh, yeah. I mean, no, 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 no. I, look, I saw what it did to him. I, I don't think I can. Right, he's the strongest kind of... one of all of us. So if he can't wield it, who else is going to carry it? You want to give it to Barnabo? Well, oh, I mean, he's pretty strong too. I am... okay. Would this be? What about bees? What? Would this be? What disrespectful? Oh, Mister Yornier. The druid of the land said that we have to kill the Princess of Frost. That is certainly thousands of years old. Well, did she say we had to? I thought it was if you happen to, that would be kind of great. Oh, she is an arbiter of fate. Oh, is, that is a, a task and a quest if I've ever heard one. I wouldn't say she was an arbiter of fate. If she wasn't able to get that ritual to work. Why oh, she called us here. We saved the sun. We were meant to be here. We became yeah, champions. We easily could have not saved the sun. But we did. And that was our fate. What if the Hexature armament, what if that thing is the antithesis of what the artifact we're trying to destroy? It's impossible to handle. It will drive anyone mad. You think I could carve it into a harpoon? You will not carve it. I'm pretty good at Scrimshaw. No, it would be... Is your middle name Shaw? No, it's not. I don't know what he's talking about. But his Continue. middle name isn't even Shaw. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I know you're pretty good at Scrim. Well, I knew but... a Shaw. I knew a, I know a Scrim. But I don't even know I'm Scrimshaw. I think I could whittle that thing down into a very mighty harpoon. That's all I'm saying. You want to turn it into a weapon? It might be worth a try. Yeah, but how are you going to carve it if you can't even hold it? Look. Hmm. Your near is the most even keel of all of us, and he had trouble holding it. The last person I want outside of you touching that thing is Barnabas. I just don't feel like we should be leaving it here. The spirit said if we encountered the dragon to give her hell from them. Maybe this is a tool of their own vengeance. Or maybe they meant it literally and they want us to give her a piece of the nine hells. What if the Hexature Armament comes from the Nine Hells? Certainly possible. Whatever we decide to do, I'd like to get off this mountaintop as quickly as possible because I feel very uneasy standing up here. I'd say about 10 minutes have passed. I need everyone to make a constitution saving throw. DC 20. Oh, not good. <clears throat> 20 exactly. Nice. Oh, advantage. That passes. Yeah, 20. Exactly. Can you, uh, <clears throat> twist me? Thank you, Chad. Uh -huh. I got a 13. I will take one out to a stop for Nikki. I neglected to say I it bet. out loud, but it's uh, it's obviously the same like against the climate thing. So if you failed last time, in addition to the damage, you had a you took a level of exhaustion. If you failed oh. this time, it's oh. a level of exhaustion again, level two. Holy fuck. And it's uh, three points of cold damage. All right, well, I'm taking three points and I got one level of exhaustion. So I just, it's because it's, it's a minimum of one. I take. You're one still damage. resistant, so you, don't, you should only take one because you oh, have to have one. three. But I still take the exhaustion. Is it still yeah. seven? No, if, no, uh, you're, you're, you're immune to the exhaustion forever. Okay, sorry, I don't have my thing on me. That's I fine, apologize. that's fine. Um, is it still seven? Did you succeed? I succeeded, but uh, is the damage still so? He said it was three. It was no, three. It's, it's you, you you if you succeeded, you're not exhausted, and you take one damage. Oh, okay, okay. Because even though I'm resistant, you can never. It's minimum. Yeah. So we all take. <clears throat> um, and I actually am just realizing. Okay, so she failed twice, and she took seven, ten points of damage. <laughs> I mean, seven plus ten, uh, three is ten. Yeah. So uh, she's exhausted to uh, uh, level two as well. Uh, she turns around and she just like hand gestures at you and she starts to make her way down uh, the side of the mountain because you've got a long trek ahead of you. It took you a half a day to... Well, let's make a decision quick. If you think that you can carve that thing, maybe wrap it up in something and take it with you. Maybe not touching it directly, you'll fix the problem. I mean, I see Queenie's point. But what is this, the sea if not just raw emotion made in natural watery form? This isn't time to be waxing poetic. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't want to be cursed. I don't want this thing to be our down. Why don't you just try and put a put a cloth on it and touch it? Why is You've it? survived already. See if that helps. And then if we, you can touch it, Why Barnabas is it can that take we it. Why feel like we should take it at all? It doesn't belong to us. 
It's not ours. Hold, hold on. I will. If we can have one more minute, we'll commune with Mamut. Oh, I'm so hungry. Well, I want cookies and milk. One of the uh, one of my kind of bone uh, tags that has a rune uh, wristed into it, Ooh. and I will cast augury. Uh, I will say, Mamut, Golden. Armum, Armum, the triad. If we take this in our quest, in our f- fateful journey, what will come of us? You channel the magic directly, and the response, uh, 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 turning the tag, this wristed rune in your in your fingers, comes into your mind a feeling of both weal and woe. It is weal and woe. The triad has spoken. Which means there could be some good that comes from it, but also bad. We wrap it in a pelt or something. Perhaps I can be like Mr. Yornir here and have my own tusk to bear, so to speak. With Queenie's tree here now serving the purpose, I believe that maybe the horn would do better in our own possession. And I would only use it against the Princess of Frost. I don't think that we should give it to Barnabas, period. You would have to be the one to carry it. If it's an emotional thing, you're the only one of us that can handle it. He starts screaming about eggshells. You gotta avoid witches. Oh, I would kill somebody for some eggshells right now. I already have my own burden to bear. Well, then we need to leave it. We can't... I'm gonna put it this way. It was a neutral reading. Both wheel and woe. Right now, we're in full-blown woe. We're adding a little bit of woe for just a tiny bit of wheel. That's not great. We can't handle any more woe. And if he were to go off the off the deep end carrying that thing around, it would kill us all. If we could wrap it, maybe we would be safe. Miss Marsh maybe. is not wrong. It's not worth the risk. We've got a treacherous journey ahead of us. I have the power of the sea in my veins and my person. And all of the beasties within. And there is weal and woe in that. And if my emotion makes me lose control, you might have to put me down, especially after what Scrim and I went through. And I don't know if we could. If that thing gives him some kind of magical abilities and knocks him off the deep end... Why are we trying to take something that doesn't belong to us and we don't know how to use it and we don't know what it does? It is a great artifact of the land. And it's not ours. We're not grave robbers. This is a place for ghosts. And I agree. If it would be disrespectful to take, I would advise against it. We were encouraged, though, by the keeper of this horn. Not to take the horn. To slay the dragon. Yeah, because we're capable. We all have our strengths. If she wanted us to take that thing, she would have said it. She would have given it to us. She would have told us how to use it. I'm going to turn, walk back to the horn, and take my cloak and just sort of put it between my hand and place my hand on it with with the uh, seal skip between. You sort of uh, 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 enwrap it like this uh, at at one of its um, middle points where it's a little easier to get a grip around it. And uh, through the pelt, you don't feel any... um, What's the word I'm looking for? Emotional spike? Draw? Surge? Muting. Of the emotional oh, charge oh, that goes uh, through you. Fuck that. Wow, man. what We're a debate. <laughs> We're out. <clears throat> I still felt it. I believe we could wrap it dozens of times if we would still feel it. It belongs here on this mountain. 
Ah, well, then that's settled. We can, we can make our way down. That's right? enough for me. We know it is here, and if we need to come back for it, for whatever reason, we can. Oh, and I suppose if we find the Hexature Armament, and this is the only thing that can break it, we can just bring it all the way back and smash it on the horn. Yeah, I mean, it's been here for thousands of years. Surely it'll be fine for a few more. <laughs> Oh, I'm certainly there's no bad omen in your words, Mr. Stabiscotch. Never. There's never and been a bad omen that's ever uh, fallen. Hopefully that us bringing the, the Hexature armament. <laughs> we got to get off this mountain. <laughs> Let us go, and I'll start hobbling down the It mountain. won't flatten the mountain like Mr. Yornier saw in his visions. <laughs> you start to walk, all five of you together, uh, leaving the horn behind. And uh, it takes you some time to catch up with Daisy, who had left... Uh, uh, almost 10, 15 minutes before you made the decision to turn around. Um, but as you are walking down the camps, you see that they are barren and empty. Uh, the camps where you had been playing these games, there's no cheese wheels, there's no wooden structures, there's no uh, 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 trinkets or marks, except for the ones that you seemingly made as the only real creatures on the side of this mountain uh, in the former day uh, during midwinter. There uh, is evidence of footfalls. There's evidence of people running down a sloped pass, uh, uh, attempting to chase an imaginary wheel of cheese. Uh, you uh, uh, can see where, uh, I- at the second camp, uh, you can see where Yornir built a fire. Uh, uh, you can see where you guys would have been taking dips in saunas, frozen, completely completely <sighs> closed. Uh, and you, n- right next to it, uh, you find uh, uh, five gold pieces. Uh, almost uh, uh, right, right in the in the so uh, five gold pieces that you had gifted to a mm-hmm. dragonborn uh, <clears throat> who is no longer uh, uh, clearly a part of this plane of reality. I picked them back up. <laughs> uh, finally, you make it to the bottom where uh, this adventure began. You find yourself at the Wheel of Years, with all of the small stones encircling this great tall uh, area. Looking at the center, it's impossible to tell if. It looks more stained from what happened so freshly in your minds and your memory in the former day, the previous day, or if it had, if it, 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 it's still just stained from centuries ago when the last real ritual sacrifice would have happened here. Can we stop for just a second? I would like to kind of just poke around with the rustiest and oldest of my harpoons that I wouldn't really care that much about. <laughs> And I would want to look for, like, ancient bones. Okay. And, like, see if there's... And start, you just start, like, dragging it through, sort of, uh, 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 what is the word that they use when you, like, drag Break. up the bottom of a... Yeah, when a you start, uh, yeah, yeah, dredge. Yeah, 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 you start dredging through the snow. Um, I've done and some dredging. Well dredged. And, uh, make an investigation Oysters, check. Oysters, clams. Investigation. Uh. It's not a rhyme of Viking. Thank you for the follow, oh. Jolinun or Jolinen, and uh, yeah. the Forgotten Troop. Jolinen, Jolinen, Scott, Jolinen, for gifting us up to Jolinen. Jolinen. Um, oh, investigation, a 17. Thank I'm rolling you. pretty well tonight. Um, you all watched Yornir doing this, and um, uh, uh, Daisy uh, seemingly uh, has uh, picked this location, uh, having gotten away from the, the true coldest peak, uh, and to make her start making her own camp um, as a stopping point before continuing back further down the mountain, and it's, it's the middle of the night. So you have plenty of time, Barnabas, to feel satisfied that there aren't bones in this space. Is that because they always picked up after themselves for the ritual sacrifice, picking up whatever hit the stone and then making their way up to the mm. top of the mountain, or because so much time has passed that that is lost to the ages. You can't say. All right, nothing to bury. Thank you. Perhaps Tommy is right. We should make camp. It is late. And Her name's Daisy, honey, was her sister. No, it wasn't the other way around. Or no, no, honey no. was the other girl. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, no, not again! <laughs> I believe Daisy is right. That perhaps we should make our camp here. I. I just don't see any creatures to hunt. Any rivers for fishing. No, I am so hungry. Me too. We will need to go to bed hungry. You can call me whatever you like. 
honey, Daisy. It's better than what they called me. I've got the fire going. Come warm up. And you can see that Daisy has been able to produce a small campfire uh, with what limited kindling there is. I will run to the fire while looking over my shoulder and plop myself next to it. Yeah, I'll join her. <clears throat> and the five of you find yourself finally starting to feel a little warmth uh, and thinking about how to rest, how what, what to do with the next day. So do we have any idea how long it's going to take us to get back the direction that we came from to find this city? That is a good question. <coughs> uh, Dungeon Master, do I get a sense of based on what she drew... Very rough estimate of how far I think it might be, and based on how we sort of came up one side of the mountain range, and then going back down, do I have a sense of how long? I'm That's take? a really good question. Make a mm, survival check. That's even mm-hmm. better. Rolling sevens oh. on this guy. Twist up. You think? Yeah. 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 We need this answer. Like, <laughs> timing of how long it takes to get places is very important in Icebound. Okay. Better. It is better. Uh, you think survival. it's about two days. Uh, plus eight is nice. 19. Okay. 19, 19. Okay. 19, 19, 19, 19. One moment. Try that. Uh... Looking at, or thinking back in your mind, I have the abstract map that the Archdruid drew for you. Um, It felt like a shorter journey than it would be from the tip of the coast to the southernmost coast. So not uh, perhaps the full two and a half months that it took you to walk from that very southern isle that apparently didn't exist, that Mm -hmm. uh, that second island, uh, all the way to the crown now you didn't make it to the northern coast so who knows how far that distance is but you would guesstimate it could be as short as a month and a half for close to two months or it could be as long as three months my guess was a month and a half it will be at least a month and a half are we even sure that this city exists it was a bunch of spirits that told us to go here. Which would make sense as to why they didn't know about that other island. Clearly it wasn't there when they passed. <sighs> oh, he didn't consider that, Miss March. Was... Just because the city was there when they were alive doesn't mean it's there now. The Archdruid had indicated when they celebrated at their previous holy day, the last spring, oh. That mm. they that they celebrated on the Southern Isle, and that they hadn't seen an island, <gasps> but you could see the second island from the basalt tower when you guys were on that smaller second island. So the inference that basically it the island appeared within the it, sometime yeah, within in the last, last year. year. Yeah. yeah, sometime yeah. in the last year. Roger that. Okay, that's the that's the inference that you can make. What, could they see the the city they're talking about from the island? No, that would be hundreds of miles. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, there certainly won't be a city there, Miss March, but where there was an empire, certainly there are ruins. I can't imagine a bunch of barbarians and a dragon queen would have been able to thoroughly annihilate what was there. Even if the the city is our destination... At best, a, a month and a half into the into winter, back towards the cold. With, I mean, just to get here, we crossed wastelands with nothing to hunt, no cover, and that was when we were moving away from it. How, how could we possibly head into the cold? Well, remember, Mister Fire Blossom, where we were was cold. What are those little? Dragon folk, the kobolds call it. The Great Wastes. Mm. Where we were was the, the wasteland of the continent. She said it's a great tundra. Huge herds of beasts. They, they must be eating something. And if, foliage as well. If we can take down tundra. something that has a horn the size of what was on the mountaintop, even half the size of that. Oh, I think of all the meat. Oh. We could eat for a week, two oh. weeks, maybe even longer. And longer than that, 
Oh. It may take us three months then to get there if we camp oh. for a week. But if we need to regain our strength and camp for a week after a kill, as long as Mr. Yornir deems it wise... It will not be as brutal a journey. I have traveled across countless tundra. It is cold. It can be dangerous, but... It is not like the wastes that we traversed. What side of the mountain are we on? Uh, you are right at the, the threshold where the mountain range that has been referred to both by the kobolds and by the dragonborn mm-hmm. as the spine. And so you imagine that the, it gets, the range gets shorter and shorter and shorter and flattens out as you reach the northern coast. And that's effectively where you are. If you wanted to head east, you'd be able to uh, slowly make your way around to the other side. Uh, you, rather than enjoying the transportation that was offered to you by the kobold, you could make it by foot and and not have to go through the mountain pa- pass, which you so greatly avoided uh, during your northern uh, escape from the winter and from the ice sheets of the withered lands. The withered lands. Mm. The withered lands. So I, I guess what I'm asking is, if we're at the tip of a mountain range, mm-hmm. can I see to the southeast and like, or it's dark now, but like think back to while I was on the mountain, mm-hmm. did I notice that, like, looking southwest was horrible waste, but southeast was tundra? Yes. Do I remember you that? You can remember that, okay. yes. Uh, from what I remember, when it was daylight, it did appear to be more traditional tundra. I mean, if there's a river that has pike or any fish the size of uh, the ones that we feasted upon in that village... That, we smoke that, that'll last us weeks on the sledge. <clears throat> Guess we know a lot more skills. We've developed uh, a lot. Uh, I mean, we crossed with almost no resources and made it here, so if, if we can do that, I guess we can do this. Then, are we agreed? Really does bring up a good point that may be fruitless. As long as we don't have any other leads, I don't see why not. We have to at least try, right? If it's all right, I'd stick with you guys. I don't have anywhere else to go. I can't go home. I don't want to. Yeah, you're family now. Thank you. Even if you can be a pain in my ass, but I'll smile at her. <laughs> As long as you promise all of us that if we get beset upon by a terrible beastie and we start falling, you run as fast as you can. You do not try to save a single one of us. And then you scavenge and survive, get to the coast, do whatever you have to do to survive and get off this God's forsaken rock. Uh, just to be clear, you can save me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better with my axe. I need to practice with my bow, my sister's bow. She was always a better shot. Maybe you can help me with that. Yeah, anytime you want. I also want to know how you channel the things that you... How do you make fire with your hand? Is that something that can be learned? How do you create a protective barrier and and, and stop things from getting at you? Uh, how, How do you... Uh, 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 tr- uh, change your form in the way that you do. I want, if I could, learn to try. And we have weeks, it seems, to have a go at it. Well, I'd be happy to teach you anything that I could possibly pass along. I don't, I don't know if you can learn what I can do. I, a great spirit awakened something deep within me. And it, that's when I began to be able to do this. I don't know if you would need a, an experience like that of your own, but I would be more than happy to show you what I can. I would, I would love that. Any, from any of you. Uh, days walking and eating what we kill and... That doesn't... That sounds like a great life to me. Do you understand? I believe that what Queenie does is the most in line with the current experience. Perhaps she could expand your knowledge and ability with the 
primal magics of this plane. Primal magics here seem strong. They are. Yeah, I'm happy to teach you whatever, anything that I know. I was taught by a friend, so you should be too. I'm exhausted, so I'm going to get some rest, but maybe tomorrow night? Absolutely. We're going to need two bows firing upon those giant rhinos just for us to be able to catch up so I can smash its head in with my anchor. Yeah, you won't need to. I'll shoot it between the eyes. It'll be dead before you can even get there. Well, now I'm going to run extra fast, Miss Marsh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll wink at Barnabas. I'll ride him counting on it. Oh, I'm ten feet faster than I was. I got crab legs. <laughs> Does that mean you just get on your back and <laughs> <laughs> like, like four yeah, feet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You'd be really good at changing the oil in cars. <laughs> <laughs> My lore, how does it turn into an eel? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I can do that. Let's make a snack. With that, she, uh, it's not snowing, so she just pulls uh, as much uh, material over herself as possible in their, her makeshift bed and uh, uh, rolls over close to the fire, staying warm, uh, trying to um, recover from the exhaustion of the day's activities and the loss of the caloric intake that happened. Um, I would I would want to wait until I feel like she's sleeping um, before turning to the rest of the group. And Five minutes and you hear that patterned breathing. Good she's night, out. Young lady. Okay, uh, listen, I didn't want to scare the girl, but uh, I have really bad news. All right, um, ever since I've been here, things have been relatively okay, considering, you know, the position that we're in and all of the things that we've we've done. We're, right. I mean, we're alive, right? Right? Well, earlier, we had to walk out onto the open air. I saw it. I saw the beast. It found me. The one you were crying about while you were sleeping in the egg. Yes. Like weeping openly. I thought like that a child. I finally got away. Yeah, I hadn't seen it the whole time since we'd been here. And I thought maybe maybe I'd finally found a place where it couldn't follow me. But when I looked down, it was there. Staring up at me. And it commanded me to say the words and pledge myself like the rest of you. To I, eat. To all of this, whatever we're doing. Oh. Fate already pledged to you, Scrim. It was just a formality. Could it be that it's a... It's a positive beast? You haven't seen this thing. Well, no, I just... You did. You saw it in, in my vision. Oh, yeah, the great black hound. Oh. You watched as uh, the... When the memory of his departed from his original experience. This beast jumped out of nowhere, out of a mausoleum, slobbering and almost attempting to perhaps consume Scrim before the woolly rhino, rhino came in and smashed it away from his body before the, the memory ended. Why, why, would it, why would it force me to pledge myself to Jakar? I don't believe a hound that size could survive in the climate like oh, this. Yes, I was going to say. No! You don't understand! When I stepped out, there weren't any Colors. I didn't see anything. There wasn't anything there. And underneath of my feet, looking up at me from the air, from nothing, it was as if my footsteps were over its paws and it threatened me. What did it say to you? Speak the words. So I did. How did you know what words to speak? Was it some sort of innate... Knowledge? That's a, uh, that's a good question. I, I, it was just, it was the, the, the whole pledge thing. It was just, I don't know. I don't know. It was just, I mean, how did everyone else know what to say or do in that moment? I'm just smart. I, we, I heard her song in my head and I repeated after her. Fu Zhao appeared to me. Asked me if I would pledge myself to the healing of this land. And a voice I'd never heard before told me to do it, so I said, all right. We also heard our own voices tell us. No, right? we were saying it. So they, when everyone when else you, could hear when, our voice. when the triad spoke through you, oh, that's what that you, heard, is. you heard only the triad. But an audible, your near spoke the words out loud because they essentially were channeling through you. 
in that moment. What? And then you were able to respond. It wasn't very formal. I mean, you all heard me. I, I was just trying to agree. I just wanted to get back away from the creature. Uh, you are already frightened, and I don't want to scare you more than you already scared. But there's a folk tale where I come from of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh shit, you're not supposed to say the name three times. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> hey, nice fucking model! <laughs> the name completely changes. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> that would be fucking incredible. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, All of a sudden you're teleported to the Witch Lake Carnival. Derek, let's uh, some places. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would be like one of those, like when those video games have a really bizarre crossover, like Smite Time Slipknot. <laughs> 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 I'm into it. Let's do it. Or uh, what is it? Bioshock Infinite and Return of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah. Return of the Jedi. Yeah, Return of the Jedi and Bioshock Infinite. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to say that three times. Anyway, it's not real. The idea is there's this entity. And he wants you to say his name three times, because then it summons him and it gives him power and he can do all this fun stuff for you. It actually really wasn't a child story. Why didn't my mom tell me about this? Anyway, the entire point of it is that Beetlejuice needs you. Beetlejuice is nothing without you. And I think this thing, this pupper doggo that's been following you around, it needs you clearly. Because like, no offense, you're not running from anything. It knows where you are. Clearly, at this point. So, if it knows where you are, and it's super powerful, and it could just kill you in your sleep, why isn't it doing it? That's a good question. I don't know. Because it needs you. I mean, maybe. You, you could be onto something. I just... So that should give you some power. It's your Beetlejuice. I, I certainly don't have a name. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I couldn't even read the contract that I signed. And I don't know the guy who I scammed for that coin. Cursed coin. But you might be onto something. Do you think the hound is serving perhaps the same thing that you are now? You mean the guy that I, that I conned, or...? Or if perhaps you all serve the same master. Well, I've always suspected that this entity, or whatever this creature was, was not just acting on its own accord. But I certainly don't have any confirmation of that. Has it compelled you to do anything? Well, no. I mean, it doesn't really even talk to me until now. I mean, this is the first time it's gotten that close to me. Uh, other than the incident in the graveyard, of course. Are those the only times you've seen it? Oh, no, I've seen it a few, many times, and I could hear it. I could even smell it. But I would run, and I kept running and running and running and moving, and I never stayed in the same place for too long. Well, it sounds like, uh, aside from it being present, it's done nothing to harm you. Well, that's because I haven't given it the chance. I won't become a statistic. You think that the reason it hasn't harmed you yet is because you have run from it so fast and hid from it so well that it has not been able to find you? Uh, and, yes. <laughs> and yet, when you come to the farthest reaches of a Vantress, it appears and lifts you above a crevasse? Yes. <laughs> All right. I stand by my original theory. But it did manage to find me again. That was the only upside of this place until now. Scram, do you know, does the word grim, a grim, mean anything to you? Yeah, that's spooky. I don't know what he's asking for. I mean, nothing other than the word, just like Queenie said. It's an adjective to describe <coughs> other words, things. It rhymes with his name. That's true. There's also oh, that. Oh, yeah, Scrimmage. That's, that's the thing. I, there was a time when I was weathering a storm in a small little fishing village in Bargast, which I, was, I believe is where you're from. That's right. And there was an old man who had constant pot of coffee front of him. Looks like he hadn't sle slept in weeks. And he was shaking and speaking nonsense. He was at the corner of the tavern. It looked like he'd seen a ghost. Or a demon. 
And he kept saying the grim, the eyes, the grim, the eyes. I don't know if he survived the night. The storm cleared and I was out of there before sunrise, but... I don't know if it's the same phenomenon. It makes sense. Why else would something stalk something else if not to feed on it? I don't know. I just don't have any of the answers, and I'm just worried. Or it's only stalking you because you keep running. I just don't want to find out what happens when it finally catches me, but here we are. What I can say is it's only prey if it runs. <sighs> That's a very good point. Are you suggesting I try to fight this thing? No, I'm suggesting you stay and talk to it. I I think you're very strong, Scrim. You've clearly been eating your scare. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I don't, however, think that you have outsmarted or outrun this thing. That remains to be seen. It was here today. Right. Right. So what I think is that it clearly need it chose you for a reason. I have a question for you. Sure. Did you have your magical abilities before this thing came into your life? Oh, absolutely not. It has everything to do with that accursed contract I signed. Why would it have given you those abilities? I don't if it know. just wanted to kill you. Especially because the guy seemed pretty mad that I had conned him out of that coin. Just food for thought. A whole lot of mysteries. Yeah. I believe the point of all of this is that fate has put you on this path. You are supposed to be right here, right at this moment. And the hound being able to physically touch you at any given moment. And yet it has not brought you harm. So what I would say about all of this is that you continue on your path, Scrim. You continue, and if this beast pounces from the shadows, we will do our best to defend you. And if you get dragged to hell, Th that might happen. That is your fate. We would never let that happen. Well, there's a price for everything, and you got magical abilities, so you must have paid for something. We'll try to defend you, is what I'm saying, oh. but. Without knowing the nature of the contract that you signed, it is unfortunately impossible to guarantee survival. Scrim, there. Do you ever pay attention to the stories that people will tell in all the taverns that you spend in your entire life? Oh, of course. I have listened to hundreds of different stories. Every single culture and every single continent across the Vantress has a stories of beings, entities, creatures, demons, ghosts that will entice you with great power and you'll live a great life perhaps with riches perhaps with lust but at the end the beast always devours that poor soul I always uh, <laughs> chose not to listen to the end part I like to dip out early on those stories hey right, well you didn't read the contract I appreciate your words of encouragement <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the offer of, of uh, protection. Uh, so I just certainly yeah. don't want you going out on a limb for me. It's the Studebaker. Yep. Oh, it's probably. the hound. Oh, oh no. The, the hound knows how to drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's Christine and Cujo. <laughs> Do you remember that really creepy, like, Sesame Street movie where there's the really horribly looking, like, evil female Big Bird that drives yes. the car? No. Yeah. No. Remember that? No. no. Oh, my God, no. And as a kid, I remember being scared shitless, shitless. by this thing. Absolute fucking and terror. And it's, like, literally, it's almost like a, it's almost like <laughs> a freaking hound oh, yeah. uh, that's, like, driving and, like, chasing after Jesus. them. It's a nightmare. All I'm thinking of is the wear car from Futurama. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you were saying? Oh, yeah, I was just saying a positive to all this is Beetlejuice is pretty stupid. So maybe your thing, whatever it is, is also pretty stupid. Ah, uh, well, all right. I, I will take all of this advice to heart, and if one morning you stumble upon my body torn to shreds and 
viscera everywhere, then you'll know what happened to me. I just didn't want there to be any secrets or surprise. All right, well, thanks. I mean, surely we'd at least hear your ribs crunching. Wake That's up. just it. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe by the time you hear that, it'll be too late. Or perhaps we'll just wake up and you'll be gone. That's right. That's very possible. Taken into the shadows of hell. <sighs> <sighs> I wish we had some food. <laughs> uh, I am assuming that if you have rations, spend them, because there are consequences to not eating. I don't think we have I anything. Think, I think we're all out. We're out. Unfortunately, Derek. Good to know. We're going to start to starve. Yeah, well, that is unfortunately the nature of a survival hardcore, hardcore I do, campaign. <laughs> I do have a question, though, regarding uh, Barnabas and Scrim's condition. Uh, it specifically said that it takes twice as much food for us to feel full. Three times. However many <laughs> times. That does not mean we will starve three times as quickly. That's correct. Because they're very different. You will, not, you will not starve three times as quickly, but it, it just, takes three times for you to prevent starvation. So if we only eat like one third of what we need to in a day, we just don't, we just continue to starve. It's yes. like you ate one third of one ration if you were normal. So it just doesn't really do anything. Yeah, right. Okay, just want to make sure. It's Rabbit clarify. starvation. Yep. All right, well, I appreciate all of you listening to my tales of woe. I suppose I should try to get some sleep. <laughs> Scrim, look at it this way. It can't be as bad as the BC we killed on the ice. I don't know. I don't know, Barnabas. This thing is the most horrific. And it's weird because you think it's just a hound, right? But there's something about it. There's something off. There's something more sinister. To get... I, I just can't explain it. Together, everything we have faced, we've brought down. If it comes for you, and we stand strong, I don't think there'll be anything to worry about. I think... We can take it together. As, as always, your optimism is stunning. I just want to remind you that the Wendigo literally killed me. <laughs> Go in me. Well, yeah. But otherwise, I, I appreciate it, Tai Shen. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we'll just hope it doesn't show up. <laughs> Here we are. We've suddenly reached an impasse. <laughs> oh, yet we were brought back, Scrim, and I don't think it was for no reason. Is anyone else tired? Let's get some sleep. Good night. Now, I would like to know about whatever important rituals we should be observing in the presence of our shaman on his holiest day, so that we may be respectful to his faith and culture. I've already done a rune reading. I've already celebrated the festival, and I've already communed with the triad. I believe what we have done today is enough. It's also about three in the morning on the day of the 15th. It is no longer midwinter. Mm. Good night. Good night. And with that, you all start to make your way into your own pelts and coverings and blankets and huddling for warmth as close to the campfire as best as you can make it. Uh, and you start to drift off into sleep. Scrim, you're awake for a little while longer than your companions' thoughts swimming in your mind, thinking about fate or lack thereof. Why wasn't there a voice for you when you stood out there on the cliff but were forced to agree by this mysterious creature that strikes such terror in your heart whenever you see its eyes? Rolling over, thinking these thoughts, you were staring at the now horizontal wheel of years each one of these stones from the back in this light looks like a gravestone and you see the eyes from the shadows start to emerge and you see that same hound stalking through and across the circle it stops at the center 
in circles before lying down itself. It seems to look down for the first time, not giving you this long stare at the bloodstained surface of this ritual place. Puts its nose down, licks the surface of the stone, and for the first time, you see its eyes close, frozen in place as you are, staring at a mound that you can only assume is this hound. It takes a very long time for you to get to sleep, but eventually it takes you. And that's where we'll take a coffee break. Okay. Everyone enjoys a long rest. Hey! hey. Oh! Yeah. Good lord. You waken to the morning light, and curiously, the five of you stand, uh, sit up, waking up to a very cold day, a winter's day, but uh, staring at a blue sky that has a sun in it. And you mm. wonder if it would if things had not gone the way that they went yesterday. Mm. Hungry as you are, cold as you are, putting their, your things away, your fingers are chilly and cold, you're shivering a little bit. It's a, it's a quiet morning, but uh, with a little bit of uh, uh, what left of your resources you have, your fuel for uh, a campfire, uh, you're able to get a little bit of warm uh, and stare at a non-breakfast uh, before you decide what you'd want to do with your day. That's where you find yourself. What are you doing? We should head out early. Travel as far as we can. Yeah, the sooner we get farther down south, the sooner we might start seeing some game we can hunt. We should keep our eyes open for anything that could be provisions for us. You know, I have frozen river I would kill to see. I'm sure we'll find many rivers. I remember from the top of the mountain looking, and it looked like there may have even been lakes and 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 uh, uh, a, a waterway is not very far from here. Is there any chance that we come across something that you wouldn't be able to break through? Like it's too frozen. I think with Mr. Fire Blossom and his unlimited supply of fire, it is winter though, and perhaps <coughs> it'll freeze as fast as he can melt it. Well, we got through that ice flow at the the like a fishing village yeah. we pierced through that right. and that was pretty thick I'm just worried about the temperatures coming up from the south that we were running away from <sighs> that could be a problem but we'll cross it right. when it comes right no maybe, sense in worrying about it now maybe if we can if we end up coming across one of those woolly mammoths if it's if it's not disrespectful um if we, if we can kill it for food, we could use that for enhanced, just better protection against the cold. I'll help as best I can from my hiding spot. I can still shoot arrows from a distance. So if you guys need help hunting today, I'm definitely interested in a meal tonight. Then let us begin. Also, thank you, Freedom 13. Freedom 13! Thank you so much. Welcome, Freedom 13. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. We're glad to yeah. have you. Uh, it's the start of a new arc. Uh, they've just finished uh, basically having a midwinter festival ritual uh, with uh, what turned out to be spirits of the land. Uh, they were not real things. They were what you call ghosts. Uh, after that wonderful <laughs> revelation, <laughs> uh, we're starting our new arc. They are literally pick, picking up their things in the middle of winter in a frozen land, a tundra of sorts, and making their way to a, a, a hopefully warmer climes. We'll see. And uh, we appreciate the follow if you like some D&D. &D. We like D&D. &D. I'll of say course. that. We do like D&D. &D. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the truth. <laughs> so we head southeast. You start to make your way, um, and uh, you make yourself uh, from from the, the Wheel of Years. Uh, you're relieved when you wake up, by the way, to notice that the Wheel of Year Years is clear. And uh, I assume. No yeah. hounds. Uh, and you, uh, <laughs> Did you guys see that shit? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, and there you start it is. To, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Um, sit. Roll over. Um, you start to walk down the uh, same path that you came up, compelled to find out what was at the top of this mountain as you were uh, uh, earlier uh, the former day. 
this, let me just adjust the music, um, uh, is a familiar path. And it, talking as you might on and off, walking in silence for some time, uh, an hour or two of the morning goes by uh, when you all need to make a perception check. Ooh. Ooh. Does it involve smelling food? No. Okay. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, nice, yeah. congrats. Gotta give it up. Gotta give it up. 14 Ooh. for Barnabas. 14 for Barnabas. 19. But not even close to 28. <laughs> uh, 22. 22. Um, Taishan, you notice a little after Yornir notices this, uh, but uh, you guys have gotten accustomed to traveling together, uh, and there's a pair of footsteps that are missing. Um, you turn around and Daisy, who'd been taking up the rear of your uh, line, she's 60 feet back and she's standing in the path, uh, mm-hmm. have n- not not following anymore along with your party, just looking like this. Uh, night, young lady, keep up. We gotta find that lake or river for some food. Is she looking at like towards us? Is she looking like off to the? Like, she seems. The she seems to be looking um, uh, southeast, uh, at, at, and not at the horizon even, not yet at the mountains, but just like up into the sky at like almost a 35, 40 degree angle. Uh, she's gone slack. She isn't uh, responding to any of uh, your calls or cries. This is interesting. Uh, I'm gonna flip around and just approach her and see if I can. You start to walk up and you get to within about 15, 10 feet of her when you hear the sound of a creature, a beast, very, very close. It must be very silent for it is a flying creature, a feathered creature, a creature that you know to be attracted to a specific type of herb. And all of a sudden, two massive talons snatch Daisy up by the shoulders, picking her up and flying away this huge feathered beast with a massive wingspan. She disappears almost instantly. I'd say in just the 15 feet that you were walking, she's suddenly 150 feet away at least before you're able to make a response. So I can't do anything in the, as I... As I don't I think I can throw my harpoon that far. You can make a dexterity how, check how to see how quickly it? you can react, and if you get it, if you get it, oh, you are, take an action. What are the rules on a harpoon? Say a distance, did you give us a distance? Yeah, at, at, I'm freezing time. It's 150 feet away, Damn. and it's carrying her. She's now uh, uh, 60 uh, feet up uh, from the ground and uh, climbing. I'll just blast this 120. I, yep, yeah. oh, my harpoon's 120. I, you can still... Is it max 120? Max 120. Oh, yeah. so disadvantage. Is it no, 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 disadvantage. Oh, so it's disadvantage at after after 30, and then the max oh, range is 120. Okay, okay so it's just, just out of range. Yeah. So what does that mean? So it just doesn't. You, you, you can't, can't go beyond that. You it fizzles go, out. It, it just doesn't even go past yeah. 120. Just out of reach. Okay. Um, uh, Queenie. So can I, so can I, fire I them dex off. check? You can make a dex check to see if you can take an action. And um, I will roll Holy a shit. shot from Queenie because I'm going to assume she's going to take out her bone and do some shit. Yes. Yeah. She probably like rabbit leap forward and well she aims. Yeah. Uh, at dis- fires in midair. At disadvantage <laughs> because it's uh, oh it's at 150 feet so she would actually be just enough to be all right. Holy shit! So are we assuming that this creature like basically did some sort of like hypnosis thing? Oh yeah. Her and then, like, yeah. You remember that the kobolds yep. would uh, uh, told you that it had been uh, flying in, picking off the kobolds and then flying back to the mountains in order to feed on them. But horrifyingly, that it had a glare that yeah, uh, would horrible. allow you to, that would make you give up like an animal being eaten. <gasps> okay, that's, that's okay. right. I thought it had you some would sort give of up. Ability. Basically, it was an ability to like your survival your instinct petrified. was turned off. Yeah, was literally Dang. yeah. Your survival instincts is to survive Dang. and fight is turned you're, off. You're like placated. Yep, yep you're, you're, you're yep. placid. Or I got a twenty-one, Derek. Nice. <laughs> A 21 is enough. I will allow you to take an action. And Queenie, uh, so, oh, hell no. She uh, 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 releases from her longbow. And you see the arrow sail. And you can hear this as it sticks into her uh, into uh, this creature's um, wing and continues to uh, start to flap away just as Yornir takes his, uh, makes his choice. And I'll roll her damage. Nice. While Yornir, or rather while Rich yeah, looks through please, D&D please. Beyond... <laughs> And I'll let you do your math first. 
I would throw a harpoon with a rope on uh, it, and it yeah. would just. That's what I did. I fired yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely would have run up, fired off a fire bolt, and it would have just not even come close. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she knows that she struck true. Uh, uh, Queenie uh, is is notching another arrow, and yeah, it would have been really fun to fucking rope yeah, away. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. I am pissed that it is thirty feet, and so it would. Uh, and so I'm, I'm running, and I will run after it as I'm pulling my rope and coiling it as I sprint. But I would like to ask while Richie's looking at his uh, abilities. Do we get any sense of what it looks like beyond being feathered and winged? Is it bird? Is it avian in its construction? Is oh. it more <laughs> griffin-like in its or or hippogriff or? Oh shit! It has a uh, 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 red. Uh, I was and not white, expecting this. Red and white uh, feathers, uh, a, a, a almost drake-like and bird-like uh, oh, uh, shit. Uh, face. It's uh, like snake uh, glowing, glowing red eyes like that match its feathered body, um, yeah. and, and huge yellow talons like chicken feet. Holy that messes fuck. me up. It's I imagine like I imagine it like the final boss from Sly Cooper. You know, I've never played Sly Cooper. Oh, oh wow. isn't he like a robotic owl? He's a clockwork. Yeah, yeah clockwork, clockwork owl. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. And he's a clockwork. It is serpentine, and Hanska's right. Yeah, it's serpentine. It's like a wind serpent from World of Warcraft. Yeah, 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 yeah it's, it's, a giant, yeah. it's a giant wind serpent. Well, what's that dinosaur that has a giant, like, thing on its head that goes back? Isn't there Yeah, a, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. exactly. It, the dur burr burr burr. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, it's got, like, a crazy, almost like a, who else does that? Like, fucking second form Is it the pterodactyl? Are you thinking it's of a like pterodactyl? Giant yeah. raptor? Like, like some kind of raptor? No, 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 no he's thinking of, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I think they're herbivores. Yeah, maybe. Well, it just, yeah, it just kind of looks like Are that, they like yeah. pteranodon type things? Oh, fuck, I asked you. Anyway, here it is. So I have two questions. One, is there snow on the ground? <laughs> We're in Drakkar. Um, yeah, the, there's it's it's it's, it's not fresh snow, but it's not uh it's snow that you could bunch up if you needed to. Um there there's uh, there was snowfall 2 days ago and it wouldn't have melted certainly. Two, would it be reasonable to say that I have a drop of molasses on me from the prison for the, from the provisions of the ship? In my re uh, uh I will say that molasses was a very common ships so a matter of if you would I think I think it's a question you. of if you had the foresight to keep molasses on you with all of your herbal, herbalism items. So I hate to continue to stack checks in order for you to take this action, but if you want a drop of uh, molasses, I would set a low DC for an intelligence check. Not a wisdom to have the wisdom to keep it. I'll give you wisdom, and we'll make the DC yeah, ten. Because I, I do have a whole herbalism. We'll kit make the DC with, ten. You know, yeah, yeah, and stuff, right? We, yeah, you especially wanted to enjoy the herbalism test. I'm, I'm gonna lower it to eight because I remember you enjoy herbalism. Really pushing the limits here, Rich. <laughs> We're saying it's a wisdom check. Yeah. And the DC's eight. Yep. I got a ten. Oh, oh. would have been me to be even a ten. You, uh, you know that this herb, uh, you're yes. now starting to make yes. use of the the magical essence That's of this right. molasses uh, in what you're choosing to do here in this moment, which uh, I have no idea I, what you're fucking doing. <laughs> I will uh, shout out a word in giant, and I will uh, reach my hand out, oh, and you cool. will see the this creature start like ice start to form all over it, uh, and I'm casting slow on it. Oh shit. Uh, wisdom 16 saving throw. Oh, fuck. That's huge. He's icing the fucking creature's Wisdom wings. 16 saving mm-hmm. throw? So Iron Man of you. It's cold weather flying in Northrend. <laughs> he got a natural 16. Uh, oh, nice try. Uh, His nice try. wisdom is negative one. Uh, oh, no way! Shut up. What the hell? I'm not fucking around. Wow. What is this Bring it down! <laughs> And I'm, uh, and I'm, it has a, min- a minus two AC, it's disadvantaged on deck saving throws, uh, it can only use an action or a bonus action, not both, um, it can only make one attack on its so, turn. So does that mean it's in range then? Can we move anywhere nearer it to moves, it? It moves, it moves into a gliding pattern, and, um, at this point now, it's, uh... It's still 150 feet away. It's about to take its next thing. I think we need to roll for a fucking Yeah, we have to roll for initiative. Oh my god. Yeah. My sprint is 80 Holy feet. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get uh, That thing shoulders. was gonna get the yeah. fuck away. Yeah, I, I, I actually, actually was like thinking, it. is there a way to. It's gonna be that TikTok with me feeding you Slim Jims. As can you run into no, I, no, actually. <laughs> actually, can I pick up Scram? Yeah, I weigh like. I probably weigh 40 pounds. 
No, it, even it be a, 50 pounds. You scoop them up. It is Six 150 feet up. away, and its speed is halved. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right, it's actually still probably it. faster than you guys. Well, so I would have, if I pass the dex check and get a chance to slow it, I don't know if that would affect how far away it is as it like turns and as I'm slowing it, right? So yeah, it's going into almost like a glide now, and it's okay. doing it's 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 trying to move its its limbs as quickly as possible, but it's not being like fu fell no, by, yeah, by the snow, of course. Uh, by the slow. Um, but yeah, roll for uh, initiative, and um, we need to clear up a little battle Let's space. Go. I think I got a twenty-one. Uh, what's, what's Queenie is already running, uh, and she's, she's um, trying not to hit Daisy, but shooting uh, uh, into the air. I'll roll uh, for her as well. Wow, she's fucking a yeah, huge initiative can. bonus. What the or, fuck? Or, uh, yeah. We're gonna need it. Let's do this. And I need to roll it. Do I have? Amazing. There is no way. Oh, there's no. Uh, way. All right. There's no ammo. I'm, I'm probably. All right. Twenty-five to thirty for initiative. No. No. Twenty to twenty-five. That's me. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, you'll go first, and then Queenie. Uh, fifteen to twenty. Seventeen. Uh, seventeen. Ten to fifteen. That's an eight. That's a five. Yeah, so this is the correct uh, initiative order. Uh, Scrim, uh, this creature is 150 feet away. You see it slow down. It's also about 60 feet in the air. And uh, so you have uh, your entire turn to do what you want in order to catch up. Um, I see this happening. I see that my first two uh, Eldritch Blasts missed. Uh, I, my hand is, oh. is glowing with fiendish magic. Oh, um, oh, <laughs> sorry. No, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, this is combat music, right? My hand is still glowing with fiendish magic, and as I see this happening, I will look to Barnabas and I will say, uh, Come on, come on, we gotta get a move on! And I'm gonna climb up his back and, like, straddle, like, his neck and ride him into okay. combat. Okay. And I'm holding my action until I get close enough to blast this thing. With You've been blast. made steed, Barnabas. You so feel you turn. feel uh, the the lightweight uh, frame of it's almost no weight to you at all uh, with your strength and with your size. And I do have netting that would like be perfect handholds in like places. Climb up, yeah. pull you on. just like, yeah. oh, come on. You just speed run Barnabas, and you're on him in, a, in an instant. <laughs> and uh, are you hold, doing anything else with your turn? I am just holding my Eldritch Blast, and that's my turn. So when I'm in range, I'll fire off two Eldritch Blasts. Queenie's up. She's going to take another shot and. Uh, this one misses, and it narrowly misses uh, uh, Daisy, fortunately. Uh, and oh, she's going geez. to uh, uh, use the rest of her movement to move 30 feet closer. Uh, Barnabas, you're up. Uh, I am going to have to dash. So I'm going to just sprint 80 feet. I love and that you have 40 feet uh, of movement. So uh, you, clo you close the distance. Oh, and while I'm doing that, I will say... Okay, Scrim, I'm going to give you a, uh, a walkway to this beastie as I uh, pull a, uh, as I finish pulling my rope and grab my harpoon uh, and uh, just hold on to it while I'm sprinting. As uh, Scrim, you will get probably seawater in your mouth like, when you get away. <laughs> and you might get poked by like a sharp barnacle yeah, uh, so as uh, a... Um, Not my sweet meat. A, a, a stingray tail will shoot <laughs> out from behind me. Nice. Uh, and uh, and uh, kind of extend uh, right past you as I will take the uh, the tail uh, action here. You do that, Tai Shen. Uh, so I'm just really confused about what the what the the battle situation looks like. Uh, well, let's put some battle pieces on a uh, battle board. And would that get yeah, scrim and range? That would probably get scrim and range. range to yeah. my attacks. Yeah. So if I'm able yeah. to get to 120 feet, then I would throw the harpoon as well. Because my my understanding is that we're on a slope and it's here. Yeah. So if we continue to run at it, we're running down a slope and it's still like above us? It's 60 feet above the ground where it is. Uh -huh. So even though you're running down a slope, you, it's not 60 feet above where you are, if that makes sense. It's 60 feet off the ground. But if we're running down a slope, it will continue to be above us as we descend Yes. to approach it. Yes. So if it were above you right now, it would be 30 feet above you. But by the time you reach where it is right now, it's 60 feet above, above, 60 feet above the ground. Hi, Scott. Okay. Let's put it here. Pythagoras is a dick, man. Yeah. Um, Classic. And can you map out how far away, like, uh, uh, 80 feet would be? I have no idea how many squares that would be. 16. <laughs> right here. 
I'm putting you near there. That's tomorrow. where that's where um that's where Barnabas is because okay. right. So he's at the head of the pack because he just ran 80 feet like a oh. fucking maniac. lightning lord, no, like a maniac. Now. You dash, so you wouldn't have been able to throw your anchor. Correct. Or so, uh, yeah. So basically, uh, I'm getting it. So scrim, and then the next time, yeah. so obviously I'm bonus action, uh, rage, and then sprinting. But dash. your distance is 120 feet. So at some point, riding Barnabos, <laughs> you yeah. would have been able to do this. Uh, yeah. That's exactly right. If I have to do this as advantage, I will. Uh, I'm going to fire off two blasts. Two uh, blasts. Why would you have disadvantage? I don't know, because she's running around like an absolute it, it, it's, 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 I've got a particle in my testicles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's, yeah, subtract, yeah, one, yeah. subtract one from what you roll for barnacle. <laughs> There's and, actually a muscle that just slices your calf. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> That's that muscle right in the thigh! Uh, or the, 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 the artery. Yeah. Um, AC's 13. I don't get mad. Well, I got a natural one, so that's the one from the barnacle that got me in my in my testes, and uh, then I got a twenty three. Yeah, so one hits. of them hits. Roll for right. damage. Uh, it's just one d ten, actually. Oh gosh, we're in Orgrimmar now. Eight, eight nice. points of uh, Eldritch Blast damage. It's uh, eight it's points. Fiendish magic fires from my hand and. Uh, oh. and I'm aiming for it. We can twist the natural one too. Oh yeah, let's twist that. Do you yeah. want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it worth it for? Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was well, I just a bunch of them. Right. Yeah, we were like, if if Daisy's life wasn't on the line, yeah, uh, that'll be a twenty to hit. That hits. So then, in addition to the eight, it will be another nine damage. Nice. Yeah. So seventeen Ooh. points of Eldritch Blast damage. Oh, that's outstanding. That is some force. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it, like, it gets blasted in the back, and uh, it manages to hold on to Daisy. Uh, the Taishen, now it's your turn. Thanks for the twist. Okay, so you're, you're you're technically twice as far back as where Barnabas is. Okay, because it's he. It, I'm gonna say it's uh he's he's 80 <clears throat> feet away from me. So right you're now. 80 feet away from me. Yeah, and scrim. So it's a hundred. I'm 160 100, feet away. 150 feet away. Yeah. Okay. okay so almost. Done. I'm gonna walk 30 feet. And stay there. Yep. I yeah. Coma out of the way. I'm gonna walk 30 Weird feet comb. to get there, which would bring me this to 120 foot distance. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Um. It's his lice comb. So. So you just touched <laughs> it. Oh god. Oh no. It's for, it's for lice yeah. eggs. Uh, Remember Christ kindergarten, Christ everyone? Bastard. Unfortunately. Uh, and I will fire off uh, a firebolt uh, at his well. Firebolt goes 120 feet? Yeah. yeah. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. That's yeah. like standard cantrip blank. Yep. Doesn't mess around. I've been, oh, I for, have I've been a part for too long. I shouldn't have <laughs> taken poison spray. <laughs> <laughs> it like dribbles out. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, like 15 feet. Yeah. It's, 10. it's 10 feet. <laughs> I, think it's ten. I think it's 10 feet. Uh, what did you roll? 21. That nice. Is. Okay. Um, six, two D10. I've covered all my dice. Do some like deck saving throw stuff. You know what I mean? I can't, well, I got some of that stuff, but it's all so far away from me. I can't never get yeah. the material components for fireball. So, um, <laughs> but you also don't want to cook Daisy. <laughs> no, oh yeah. I don't think Cause you can't spell shape. Can yeah. you? No. What is that? Oh, uh, Felix and fireballs teammates not hit them. Oh, yeah. oh no! I can't do that. You like so? Yeah, Sarnax basically right, had to D10. drop fireballs on uh, Shepard and was like, "You have devil blood." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Shepard. <laughs> Why, for the first like it. seven episodes of uh, Strahd, you, you you use uh, sacred flame and it's always one damage? <laughs> oh yeah, it's outrageous, awful. awful. Well, almost minimum, but three damage. Three damage. A one and a two. Every little point counts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, fla you, you flame it, and uh, a few of its uh, feathers go up in smoke, and uh, you can actually see them spiral off uh, into um, what is almost the tree line, actually. Uh, that's the end of your turn? Yeah. be all I can do, I think. Jorner. Um, did you put <laughs> our new features in here? They should be. Uh, if you go to inventory, is it under? Oh, it's oh, it's an inventory. That's right. You have to equip the the crystal and then attune to it, and it That's only true for you oh because of the God, way that yours mechanically oh, works, oh, and oh, you're oh. not technically attuned. <laughs> it's it, I couldn't figure out how to fucking get it to okay, do the shit. Okay, Derek. Because sorry yours is the I one spoke. that. I, yeah, all right, yeah, sorry, right, I spoke right, one right, time. <laughs> um, yeah, if you go, you uh, can click on um, shamanic verve if you want to look at that ability. Uh, okay. Manage. This is. So, welcome horror becomes them. Good to see you. Hey, 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 welcome back. Welcome back. We're doing some combat. 
yeah. uh, which I understand is pretty frequent uh, and common in a game of Dungeons and Dragons. I was about to say, I'm so pissed we didn't fight that feathered beast. I'm so glad we get to kill him. You I've been wanting to kill this thing for months. Far away no, we are it. killing this foe. I thought, I thought you going. were going to shed the herbs when you guys were like, maybe we shouldn't go back and see if we could get the, the kobolds and like see if we could meet up at the I mean, gate. Who knows and do what the kind of alchemical, you know, or uh, herb- herbalist properties. I will take my stone out. I, forgot, I just forgot, <gasps> forgot about him. And I will, as I start to run, I will throw it down under me. <gasps> and I'm using a bonus action to transform the stone into a large caribou. And I basically it sort of, it into battle. It, it, it like pops me up on top of it. All of a sudden, a, a galloping, trampling caribou <laughs> emerges under your near, perfectly saddled, ready to go. Uh, and then I am going to uh, have the caribou dash. Uh, wow. And the speed is 60 feet. Let's go! So I can go 120 feet. So 85, 90, 95, 100. Your near is literally cold hands. 10, 15, 120. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess my question is would that also take my action to make the beast dash? Does that say here? Uh, no, it's acting on your turn, and it's taking the dash action. Amazing. So if you use your wild shape feature to bonus action create the caribou, you still have your action. Okay, perfect. Amazing. So I am That's now on crazy. a... I'm on, I'm on a caribou, and now I have my action. So then what I would like to do is... Cast. Oh, is it? Oh, god. Three foot radius. Oh, of me. Okay. Dude, we're like booking it, and we just see your name. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a ride by yeah. on a camera. But what? Everyone's super fast. You're like, well, that guy's kind of slow. <laughs> ah! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, no problem. We don't do combat very frequently, and this is a month to month, so I'm not going to be like the the hurry up and go DM. But hurry up and go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I will turn. then. Oh, it's concent- that's concentration, and I need to keep slow on it, so I can't do that. Uh, that's whole person. He's not a person, right? Uh, <laughs> horrible ice dinosaur. Um, then I am just going to. Uh, am I sixty feet? I'm probably so guess. Yeah, yeah you're, you're so close. You're within 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40. and then 20 feet you're, up. You're good. You're good. Well, he's no, 20. he's 60, 60 feet in the air, right? 30 feet. No, 60 feet, uh, yes. 60 feet, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I, good, I need to... Derek, I, I'm not within 60 feet of him here, right? Because mm-hmm. Pythagoras is a dick. Yes. Well, um, he's at 60, 40. 60 he's, squared it's, times it's, 30 He's 40, 40, 60. So what's 40 so squared? So what's, uh, I'm gonna need you, you know to what? listen, you try and hold, hold on. That. 40, 40 squared plus 60 squared. What's the, what's the math 40, on this? And then, and then square 60 root. 60 times 60. 3,600 plus 1,600. This is what we thought we'd be doing, right? Square root it. No. <laughs> Have it. Oh, man, I'm getting, my brain hurts Take already. me to the eighth grade. Uh, Take me to the eighth grade. What is the that. answer? Oh, that's somebody can, but not us. It's 72 feet away. Jam. Just, okay. just outside. Just enough. That's fine. Then I think <laughs> what I will do is... Thanks for making me do algebra. I will ready a spell <laughs> if it gets within 30 feet of me. For whatever reason, Okay. I'm going to ready a spell. Okay, you ready a spell. Uh, it's its turn, and uh, it screams this horrible, like, uh, 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 almost like a rooster crow, uh, uh, but but uh, mon- uh. monstrous. Ah! In its, in its, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Ah! Uh, oh, that's good. And it's got that's an good. arrow in one side. It's a little burned, and it's experiencing this strange magical sensation. It starts to... Um, uh, turn and uh, face each of you, but as it does, uh, it releases uh, Daisy. Uh, it is it is clearly knows that it is in for a fight and is uh, is caring less about the fact oh, that it's carrying her than about the, the thing. She plummets and hits the ground with a smack. Let's find out what happens. She's, her, her spine is shattered. 
You know, well, she's she took, she took, she took damage from the cold. Yeah, yeah. She's, she took like a fuck she, she, she had a long rest. She long rest. She's gonna oh, yeah. be like oh. a bag of loose meat. Oh, ground oh, beef. 60 feet. How many stories is that? Three stories? She no, takes like a tremendous amount stories. of damage and it's lands, six, and you do not stories. know her current status. Stories. However, it's on top uh, of the slope rolling down, it turns and it's going to uh, use. <laughs> It's, it, it's going to land. Uh, I, I would say that it, at this point it's going to, to, to land. And uh, let's put a token oh. down. Let's put a token down to represent that uh, Daisy is just underneath it, essentially. Um, Do you have a skull and crossbones token? <laughs> uh, it'll use its action, and it will look at you, Yornir. Uh, is it within 30 feet of you? Does well, this, does, if it landed, yes. If, if, no, if, I don't no, think so. No, it's like 40. 40. Not quite. It's like 40. And it's still yeah, slow. It's, it's 40, it's 40. It's still slow, so. It oh, can take yeah. an action. And it just flew it 60 feet. Yeah. But it can't take a bonus action. Correct. Or we can choose one or the other. It chooses to take an action okay. in addition to having used its 45 feet of movement. Oh, it wouldn't have landed, so it's 15 feet in the air. Okay. So it's 15 feet in the air, and it stares at you, and its eyes start to flash and spiral around in this fashion, and you have to make a wisdom saving throw. Well, at least that's where I'm a Viking. This dive's been treating me well. Oh, well, you spoke a little too soon. Would you like to twist I it? would like to twist this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I use two twists on this? You may. I'm yeah. taking them both now. out. I'm calling it now. Because I need to pass this. Because if I lose concentrate, well, uh, I mean, I guess at this point. You're good. Uh, that is a... 18. Passes. You are able to look away at just the right moment, and uh, uh, even though you know you ha you aren't quite in range in order to attack it, um, you you look away and you're now focusing it on its body, almost like a Medusa. Uh, it, the eyes fade, and you can then look in, in her eyes again. It seems to be a charge and not a permanent like passive effect. But uh, it having used this ability and seeing that you didn't do anything, it screeches again in a horrifying manner. That'll be its turn. Scrum, you're up. Um, I am uh, shouting from uh, Barnabas' shoulders uh, while firing off two more Eldritch Blasts at it. Mm. Uh, one is a 17, one is a 13. Ooh. It has an AC of 13. So me because of slow. Oh. So I'm good. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, you My man ray tails like slapping your leg like a Dalmatian. Because <laughs> 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 I'm supposed to like, seven, I can't concentrate. <laughs> Uh, ten total points of damage. Not great. I rolled one high, one low. Okay. Uh, two blasts. Uh, what does it look like getting hit by an Eldritch Elder Blast of, of the Scrim variety? Uh, I would say that the magic itself is very, like, smoky and, like, uh, you know, almost like a, 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 like a smoldering fire, kind of. Okay. So this crackling energy, even though it is described that way, uh, it would make some sort of like a crackling sound when it hits, but it would definitely smoke and smolder and be smashes like into the like beast. Feathers go uh, uh, go up. A few sparks uh, spiral, and <laughs> you can hear that crackling sound. Uh, is sulfur. that your turn? Yeah, Queenie, you're up. She well, she <laughs> she's an archer, so she doesn't need to move. She'll walk the thirty feet that yeah. she needs to walk, get as close as she can. I she does hit, hole. and I'm she does dances. six points of damage. Gadzooks, you horny. Um, yeah, she says Gadzooks. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> why can't I do math right now? Because it's late. Yeah. And it's a Friday. <laughs> yeah. It's been a we'd long all, week. We'd all want to be just be okay, pizza. There it is. There it is. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, everybody, I can use some pizza right now. And that will be God, kill for some uh, her turn. Barnabas, you're up. Okay. I would like to know jump rules, Rich. <laughs> and am I, is even though it's 15 feet here, I want to know when I am at the level of where it's at, because I know I'm running down. Yes. So I'm attempting to long jump on top of it. You're probably level to it right now. Because yeah, you're, it's what is it? It's, How many it's five times feet your strength score? Is that what it is? How five many feet? Is if you've so gotten a, if you've gotten a ten foot running start, it's like five mm -hmm. times your strength score. Am I able to move? If I jump, am I able to move more than my movement or no? I still just have so forty feet. So your long no. jump is only your strength score. So it's only twenty feet. 
And you have to move at least 10 Oh, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of your carrying capacity. It's just like five mm. times. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. am I able to move my distance and then jump? Uh, Maybe. Each foot you clear on the jump costs a foot of movement, so no. So no. I can still only go 40 no matter what. The, the, the reason I know the answer is no is because the spell jump wouldn't make any sense because the spell jump is supposed to be a magical way to exceed your movement speed with a jump. Right. <sighs> However, if you say that you move 30 feet and are prepping a jump, I will let you start the next turn with a jump if you feel that that's justified in that on your next turn. I mean, you, you meaning, like meaning you can you can there. give yourself momentum and you won't have to take the ten feet on that. Turn. You know what? I'm just gonna do the thing because it's really fucking cool, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna be sprinting, and you're gonna see as the 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 black manor I tail uh, is kind of my skin is starting to turn leathery, and you'll learn now oh. why <laughs> I don't wear a shirt as my back starts to bulge out and two massive leathery uh, oh, man ray wings um, a, a sprout hey. out of my back. And I am going uh, to uh, beat them both down and just leap into the air. And I am going to use the <laughs> jump feature from my bestial soul. Uh, and so I can roll an athletics check and add that to my jump total. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, you are both you disgusting can... and majestic. Yep. Yeah, right. So, so what's what's your total speed? My total speed is forty. Okay. So move the forty. Right. One, two, three, four. That's twenty. Twenty. Now you jump. Okay. So it's one, two, three, four. You're above your near. Yeah. And then now we're making the athletics check. Okay. Do I do that advantage? I'm raging. Right. If it's just uh, an athletics check. Yeah. Are you sprinting too? No, no, no. I'm he just wants to going keep his to, action. He wants I'm to keep just action. going to jump because I want to basically fucking hook my anchor into its fucking back. Well, and like, even if you roll a 20, it's only four more squares. Like, this is the furthest you can get. No, no, that's 20 plus. I can, because my strength is 20. So I, I immediately can just jump 20 and then add on whatever no, my no, rolls no. up. I know. So this is your full 40 movement. Yeah. Or, right? Yeah. Yes. Which would be normal jump. So you can't go any additional here? movement yeah, here from yeah, your he's jump. He's right, right in front of me because I'm on his back. <laughs> Feeding him hey. Slim Jims. So this is your full <laughs> movement yeah. of 40 feet. And then you can add, tw- let's say you hit, I guess you could, you have plus 8, you're right, plus. You could add. You the- get like 28. I'm going to twist. Okay. That's not great. Uh... But I am going to... If you sprint, you can just get there. Oh, I can? Yeah. Yeah, oh. I would say you have to sprint. But I can't attack him. But then him. he can't attack him. He's so 15 feet just in the air anyway. Just get on. He scrims on you. Okay, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just going to run up. I still he, have the no, he's, he's not on the ground. He's 15 feet in the air. So you still need to jump. Okay, so I'm just I'm going to leap, and we're going to basically fly over Yornir and his quite caribou. We're, we're falling with style. Yeah. And so my total jump. <laughs> I just watched Kung Fu Panda, and I'm getting a lot of Kung Fu Panda vibes right now. <laughs> is my my total jump, I rolled a 10, so 18 plus 20, so 38 feet. Right? Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. So no that problem. gives you this about is, it would be eighteen all about on top of this, right? Do things mechanically. So it'd be five. Well, no. Well, he, he's also he'd dashing now. So one, two, three, four, five. No, it'd be thirty-eight. It'd be thirty-eight. Uh, uh, once then, I yeah, 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 you can get there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you're there. So I, the the manta ray wings are uh, flying out, and I have my anchor uh, ready to try to just uh, sc- like smash down its wing. Okay. Okay. You do that. Uh, that means it's Tai Shen. Let's just let me just get over here. <laughs> go five, ten, fifteen. I'm just holding on to your life. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. Well, I God, told you right to hold there. on. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and all, all, all. Um, let's see. Look at these guys back here. Yeah. I'm just chilling, you know. The map I drew weirdly worked for this encounter as well as the the next one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, Queenie. Um. Well, hi. <laughs> I've got some sort of funny proverb to say or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll insult you. Maybe I'll be kind to you. You don't know. Zooks. Be high on a grasshopper. Um. All right, I'm gonna fire out a scorching ray. Oh yeah. Um. I love scorching ray. Yeah, I'm into it. I run up, charge up, uh, like three motes of flame Let's in go. front of me. 
and then just like boom, 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 like punch them really quick, mm-hmm. and they fly, they That's fly awesome. out. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, oh, I, okay, well, I, so I have to roll on each times. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. AC is thirteen. Uh, when you play your grimmer, you're like, this is fine, but. I don't have fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> Every other character I've played, including I've noticed this. G, G fire, fire Plume, plume. <laughs> was fire based. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Am I telling myself something? Probably. Probably. Oh, what happened there? Buddy? What? Mm. AC thirteen. Let's let's twist. twist. All right, yeah. yeah. Can, uh, can I twist each once using two twists? Yeah. Yeah. Is that fine? Yeah. So I'll twist one, one. one on you. Thank you, each. Chad. Yeah, thank, thank you, Chad. But I'll spend two. Two doubloons for your troubles. Oh, that's the exact same roll. Okay. Yikes. Yikes. It was faded. Better. Wow. Okay. All right. Better awkward, plus eight. Awkward. So, like, you just need a five, right? Yeah, he got a five, so that hits. It's not, it's not, I don't think I have a plus eight. I have plus four. seven. Do you not have five crits? Oh, because we rolled. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. I took the metallic dragon oh, thing. Okay, yeah. never mind. Take it, time. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> you tried. It's okay. It flies past and into the forest. Well, uh, far away. Uh, cold yeah, enough I mean, not to yeah. start a forest fire, hard certainly, hard but hard uh, hard it, fate, <laughs> fate said nay. Um, <laughs> the horizon's in my action. eyes. Uh, no bonus action? Uh, um, no. No, I don't know. I don't really have anything. All right. Uh, not you're far away, but you're near. <laughs> um, <God. laughs> I will. You're far versus you're near. That's, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> that's like that meme, it's you're near when you're far walks into the room. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ride up here and... Uh, if I can, can I grab her? Would that cost an action to do? And I put her on onto the caribou. It's like a grapple, right? Like you're you're trying like yeah. if you were trying to drag a dead body away or a, uh, an ally, then an you would have to you'd have to use an action to pick it up and like half your movement. And I thing. will I will run up alongside her and then sort of lean down, use my action to get her up on the caribou. Uh, and, she is, is conscious. Okay. Oh, oh my, my god. god. So then, doesn't want to be. Are we supposed to do this? Yeah. Then she's I'm just, just hurting. Then I am going to uh, put her, like, you know, get her steady on the scarabou with me. Um, and I am going to uh, use my bonus action to cast Healing Word. Oh. Uh, nice. Spells. I just imagine you like riding. You're in Schnarferglarger. And then you like scoop her up and you just like keep riding oh, the yeah. caribou around yeah. this yeah. creature, being like, come on, we have to go. Uh, okay, so I will. So what is that? That's the first level, right? Yoink. And that is healing word. And so I will heal her for. Um, mechanically, just so everyone knows, she has 27 hit points. And she took six d six damage, falling sixty yeah. feet. And I rolled bad. She has two hit points left. <gasps> wow! Well, get on the copper! That's incredible. Get on the caribou! <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, she's gonna heal for eight. Outstanding. And I will say her name's Daisy, right? Yep. Yeah. That's correct. Say, it's very your near for you to be like, honey, Daisy. <laughs> Steady yourself. We can do this, and I'm going to use speak her name, and then use one of my tusks will sort of mm. around, and she'll get some temp HP. Oh. Oh. And that's my she she coughs, and she's not using her hands to communicate. So all she's doing is looking up, but like clearly with a grateful expression. So yeah, so now she has. So I healed her eight, or no, uh, eight, and then she yeah. has five temp, temp HP. HP. Yeah. So she's she's bolstered now. I move my max movement. That's my turn. Awesome. Uh, that's the conclusion of Sparna Bre- Nor your near. It's its turn. Uh, it's flying, flapping 15 feet in the air, and it lands and seems to look at each of you, uh, trying to determine exactly what to do next, and it pulls in and it shakes like this, and this cloud of ice sprays out in all directions. Oh, shit. I mean, over it? Within, We're like flying towards it. Each creature, it's now on the ground. Each creature within 20 feet of it must make a DC 15 constitution saving throw. 
Is the cone going above it or just spraying out? I think I, I it's can imagine. All it is a cloud of oh, cold. Got it, got it, got it. It is a cloud oh, no. of ice and cold. It's an aura. So she needs to make a saving throw as well. I got a natural yeah. one. I feel like I should twist this. Oh, uh, yeah. She got a natural 19. Thank so, you. What was the DC? What did you say? I don't know if he said uh, Could you pull out a twist for me? I've also got a natural 15. One. He said the DC was 15, I believe. Natural 20. Let's go. Congrats. One. Thanks for the follow, Coda Demon. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the Avengers fam. Uh, Turn our Discord. Uh, Jolly says, wait, they have custom made pieces? That's sick. Yeah, we used Hero oh, Forge to, uh, yeah. to design these guys. I got a 19 mm-hmm. on my reroll. Okay. Sweet. Uh, uh, if you succeeded, you take half of 21 points of cold damage oh, no. as this ice rime coats everything in all directions, shaking from its uh, uh, crazy um, uh, Dracarian feathers. Did uh, Daisy so pass? Uh, well, that, she got a natural 19. Wow. Oh, uh, which means, which so means she, she takes half, which means she takes 10, which means her f- five hit points are gone, and from her 10 hit points, she's down to five HP after this. She's holding on Still fucking right. alive. And and uh, everyone else succeeded. Oh, I need to do. Uh, nope. Oh, you, I'm not. You, we're, you guys are too far away. So it's yeah. just the three of you. This is now dick, uh, difficult terrain. We're still flying through the air. Yep. <laughs> uh, that's true, but know that. We will. Uh, and everyone succeeded. Yep. Well done, everyone. Uh, all right. Uh, so it's now on the ground and looking mean and crazy. Scream, you're up. Uh, I'm holding on to Barnabas for dear life. Uh, as we are, we're soaring through the air, like hoping to land on this thing. Yeah. So I'm going to hold an attack with the brutal blade Ooh. until we land on this creature's back, or I'm close enough to try to stab it. That's why I'm holding my my action. Okay. So as soon as you're within five feet, you're going to try to dig in with your yep. knife. I'm just going to for all, all that it's worth. Queenie's going to let loose another arrow. Uh, that's a natural three. She's going to miss, uh, and she's going to move up uh, 30 feet. And Barnabas, you're up. Uh, you are I, hurling through the air I'm in slow motion. hurling through the air, <laughs> and I will be uh, uh, just like laughing maniacally as the cold like bursts, and I'll yeah. say, oh, I'm taking worse from weaker serpents than you! And I'm going to attempt to uh, smash into it with my anchor uh, on top of it and land on top of it. Uh, I'm going to recklessly attack it uh, twice. A one and a two, you know what? No way. Yeah, yeah, okay. Some Yorgrim luck. A yeah. two and a three. <laughs> can we twist? <laughs> That's a some Tai Shen luck. Yeah, let's we pull can. Pull that too. Let's, let's twist each one. Okay, I mean, you got them. I'll twist we each got one. We got a shitload of, of twists. Well, a natural two. one. What? Just fate. And a natural four. Oh my god. What's your plus? Pl- oh plus my eight. god. That's close. Uh, and rushing down as you, you're, you're doing the cheese wheel thing. Uh, you you underestimate how how it feels to land and try to go into uh, this beast, and uh, you lose your flipping, uh, you sl- lose your footing a little bit. Not even Chad can you're save up. us now. Do I get to see no. my action? All right, I, I you are within five feet. Up again. Um, AC thirteen. I'll, I'll wait till he. I don't want to like do cut his, his reaction yeah. triggers, so, so uh, yeah. I'll yeah, I'll miss I'll like like I'll stumble forward and you're like right in front of its face now. <laughs> uh, and I got a twenty four to hit. <laughs> yeah, it hits. Uh, so then I will roll some D fours here. Uh, nice. That's gonna be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points of damage from the brutal blade. Because mm. uh, I didn't really have time to set up any of my hex shit, so I'm just. That's still pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fucking bad. huge. Oh, and I'm gonna use Fury of the Small, which <laughs> yes. is six. So that will be what I say. It was seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eighteen points of damage. Oh, as I, as I, with all the fury yeah. of the small goblin that I am, I stab that's into this creature with a little blade. It, it get, lets out a screech, and yeah. uh, uh, you you dig into it, and uh, uh, it's it's very beast like. You it, you push in, and there's a smattering of blood. There's no magical whatever. Or anything. This is a creature. Oh. <laughs> That's my turn. Uh, is that date hanging on? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. <laughs> After yeah. I stumble that. Oh, nice shot, Scrimmer! Okay, um, I fire out a uh, firebolt at it again. I move up 30 feet. Fire my firebolt. Yeah. Natural one. Yeah, we're not. Uh, you guys are rolling yeah. like shit. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't going well. Um, but I will. I will spend two sorcery points to uh, 
change a spell from an action to a bonus action. Nice. Oh, that's uh, selling quicken. And yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let me see this that's one. Sick. I think. Um, we do a twist. Uh, we wanna... Oh, burnt them all. Yeah, nice. well, yeah. We're, no, we're gonna twist. We're twisting. We're twisting. Uh, twist Everybody's getting twist. twist. I twisted the last. I twisted three on the last one. Missed them all. No, you twist two on the last one. All right, five. So I can't roll over five. Jeez, Still misses. You guys. Um. So anyway, I'll spend the two sorcery points. Creating a range, range oh, spell attack. Shit! Here. I forgot one. I have two attacks. Yeah. You can't. As a reaction, you can only do one. Okay. Oh, that's right. All right. So I haven't broken any rules. Yeah, right. Thank you. All right. Um. I'll cast uh, Elemental Burst at a, at a first level. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, thank yeah. God. I almost rolled to a one. I know. Um, I, yeah, so I, I hit this one. I hit this one. Uh, on a successful hit, target takes 1d8 piercing and 1d8, um, let's say fire damage, obviously. Um... Mason is fire. Listen, what would, what would a flame dragon be shooting out? Acid yeah, damage? What would F Fushia <laughs> gave him fire magic? Yeah, you know what I mean? God's sakes. So if Gideon's fame uh, subclass is going to be called Fire Puncher, given that Tai Shen casts spells uh -oh. by doing this, his subclass can also be Fire, fire Puncher. It's <laughs> actually Fire Weaver. Thank you Ooh. very much. Ooh. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> how much How much damage? Uh, five. Uh. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay, it now is looking bloodied. <gasps> okay, we got this. <laughs> Imagine if I had hit. <laughs> when all of a sudden, it flapping down. No, I'm not going to <laughs> Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> uh, it's fucking 1148. We're going to finish telling this story. It's uh, the. <sighs> you're near, you're up. Uh. Seeing that she just took a big hit, um, I would like to oh, that's right. put my hand on her, and I will cast Cure Wounds at a second level. Uh, two, eight. Are you repositioning the caribou? Yeah. So we can do that? She's on the caribou, isn't she? Yeah, no, no. Are we, is he basically riding the caribou uh, around yeah. out of... 17 points of hit. Nice. Nice. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, that was a really high roll. The you DM can kill full. kill this NPC. Uh, That's almost full. Amazing. And I will lean down and say, I will protect you. Uh, using my other tusk, it will glow, give her another 5 Damn. temp HP. I think I can do the same target, as long as it's just twice a day. They're both used. Um, and then, what I would like to do is, my, good. is ride my caribou... If I can sort of like come around, like do, sort of do a loop around and charge, do like a charge attack with the caribou. Oh, the caribou is yeah. capable of trampling a giant, huge bird like this. No, it, it, it goes in and it's going to try to yeah, like batter and ram that fucker, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, so it needs to move at least 20 feet straight toward the, towards the creature. So if I was like here. Like, what you do don't that? need to math it. I, I, I think that you can figure out how to do that yeah. and just get up in there. So I'm gonna get up in there and basically charge from the back here. Um, and so I'm gonna charge in this way, and then I need to make a... Uh, uh, so actually, so I, I, need, I need to roll to, a, to hit first. Okay. Only plus six to hit, but it's still slowed. Can I twist it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta kill this thing fast. There we go. That hits. Nice. It's got uh, so it needs to make a DC 14 strength saving throw or be not Ooh. prone. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Does that do anything for spell hits? DC 14? Yeah. 17. Yeah. Okay. So it keeps its footing. Uh, it's, it's flying. Really? It's awful. And I sucks. <laughs> yeah. will do 2d6 plus 4 damage. Ooh, not great. Uh, two, three, seven points of bludgeoning damage. That's my turn. 
Seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Yep. Uh, it's its turn, and it is feeling surrounded. It is horrified at the position it's put itself in. Um, it's not very it. smart, uh, is this creature, it seems. Um, but uh, it does know how to use its natural abilities. And looking around, uh, it uses its action to grab the nearest thing and attempt to flee. Scrim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be snake chow! <laughs> I never use grapple, but it is going to attempt to grapple you. I'm losing to a bird! <laughs> Classic <laughs> um, Okay, so what, we, what kind of contest is it? Uh, I attempt to seize you using an attack roll, so yeah. I'm gonna do a strength check against your strength or dexterity check. It, it's athletics versus athletics or acrobatics if you're proficient. So if it's proficient in anything too, you can. I am not. Uh, my acrobatics is better oh, than my athletics, it. but I'm not proficient in either. So then it's just yeah, it's, then it's extra strength. Okay, okay. wherever you choose. Uh. Um, you got a nineteen. So I'm just I'm rolling just rolling. You're just acrobatics. a straight dex track. Yeah. No. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. So acrobatics, which is a straight yeah. dex track. Yep. Because you're not proficient. And you got a nineteen. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Please get grapple. <laughs> I lose. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? A massive talon <laughs> grabs you around the body, the torso, and it, uh, and and uh, it while it does this with it, with its legs, its le- its arms flap up. And part using, of us, this wasn't part of the plan. Using flyby, it flies straight up forty five feet. Oh, holy! Is that half Yikes. its movement? Or that is, is that? half its movement and flying. It's got Pegasus speed, ni- ninety feet. Of, <laughs> that ninety that makes feet. Sense. If if a, a war horse right is sixty, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess that should give me ninety. There we go. <laughs> go there he on. goes. We knew him well. well. We saved the important person. <laughs> but great news, it's your turn. Um, I am. If I can, I'm gonna try to hack at it. Well, you're grappled, so I think you're disadvantaged. No. Uh, oh, really? Capital is zero movement. Yeah, he's not restrained. Unless he has special restraint. No, yeah, 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 yeah. He can attack a grapple. In five point. Uh, five point five. Five point five. It'll be different. Uh, five point five. Five point one. As I'm screaming, I'm just using the brutal blade to like hack at its like mm. talent. Do your thing. I'm gonna attack twice. Great. AC thirteen. Thank you, Swole Initiative Network, for the oh, raid. Oh, thank hey. you, Swole Initiative hey. Network. Oh, oh, well, welcome, welcome wow. in. We are, we're fighting a giant uh, snake bird, and it literally just picked up our goblin and its talons and is flying away to its nest. <laughs> it's currently 45 <laughs> feet in the air. Yeah. And as I'm hacking at it, in my, horrific, uh, yeah. in my horrific, startled state, I miss both attacks. <laughs> <laughs> By one. Okay. How does that look? How does that look, Scrum? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, can't, I like, can't quite get leverage. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, get, can't like, quite get, get the arms around. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> You're a little fucking snag. I love the, I love the uh, emote. And we appreciate uh, the follow if you like D&D. Uh, we play a lot of that here. Thank you for the follow. It's basically all we play. Come on. Yeah, we play. <laughs> Join our Discord if you like uh, D&D. Yeah, welcome, everybody. Yeah. Welcome. I missed. That's my turn. <laughs> Queenie is going to take another shot, and you realize that there's an arrow flying in your direction. Oh, it no. hits. <laughs> And she does. <laughs> yeah. Man, her D8 is just really doing very poorly. Can I move her up uh, 30? You may. Her base, do you want to do it? Yep. You, you've done so well at it. Base against Wool Initiative, really appreciate it. Nice. Yes. Um, yeah, she's rolled a 1 on her 1D8 three times in a row. Uh, that's her turn. Uh, movement and attack, Barnabas. 45 feet in the air. Yeah. Manta ray wings. Manta ray wings. <laughs> so if I can high jump five plus my strength modifier, which is eight, so eight, then if I get a 20, if I roll like a 20, that'd be plus 26. That should be 28. 28. We've already established also that you have rope attached to a. I'm just throwing off. I'm. But <laughs> yeah, but but if bitch. you if you spike it, you will have rope attached to it. You can either climb, go with it, or you can try to pull it back. To There's. Rest, rest. I will I will pull out my harpoon and I'll say yeah harpoon. Oh yeah, scrim, try to dodge, and I'm gonna uh, yeet my harpoon. <laughs> you will hit scrim uh, on a one. Okay. Oh like my like god. That. Only recklessly attacking. Okay. The odds are extremely low. 
<laughs> he said confidently. <laughs> oh, my God. Can I twist one? Yes. Okay. You were going to get hit between the legs by the, car- the uh, harpoon Wait, you and have this spaghettified really by the right? no, that, Oh, it's an advantage. It hits. It hits. Yeah. It hits. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. So no twist. Uh, I'm going to uh, oh. throw it, and it is going to pierce in, and I need to roll my damage here. Uh, it is going to do... Oh. Oh. Uh, 12 points of piercing damage. That's good damage. Uh, and the harpoon will lodge itself, and I have a rope. So what can I do to try to just uh, yank it down? Um, I would say a, a strength uh, or... What's the... Yeah, <laughs> athletics. Uh, you can Come here, big stage! Athletics contest. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I love, love this. Let's go. The best part is you didn't harpoon your friend. Okay. Athletics big, contest? Big, big uh, numbers. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Uh, uh, 24. 17, you're ready to go. You you give it a yeah. go. Um, and uh, I will, just like your manta ray ability, uh, I would say you can roll to see how many feet you drag it down. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll roll an really athletics bad. check. Playing a little loosey goosey, yeah. but that's fun. I roll a cool you're it. I'm rolling. Oh, that's right. You're raging. Oh yeah. So fifteen plus uh, eight is twenty three feet. 23 feet, you pull it down 23 feet, like and the pain half. of the harpoon and being pulled down in this manner, it releases scrim. <laughs> <laughs> That's only 23 feet. Uh, you take eight points of bludgeoning damage when you hit the ground scrim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and maintaining game state, if you'll move the scrim uh, token down to the ground floor, uh, that's going to be Barnabas Taishan. <laughs> it's still got you, buddy. <laughs> oh no! No, I've got I it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you're trapped in here with me. Yeah, Taishan, uh, you're up. All right, I, ca- I catch up to Queenie once again, um, and the people got on the screen now. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Um. I'll, I'll firebolt it. Hopefully, this just rolls over a five. What is it? Twelve. All right, nice. Good. It hits, it hits. Uh, so it'll take 2d10 damage. 2d10? <laughs> 2d. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, am I wrong? Uh, Let's we'll see if you can get more than three damage on this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I just actually checked something. If I hit it with fire, I automatically do an additional plus four. I was going to say. Yeah. I fair. thought you would have had a... Ooh. Nine. Big money. Um, 13 nice. points 13 does a lot nice. of good work. Elemental Very mastery. good work. Yeah. Elemental affinity. Affinity, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I had no idea. It's, so. looking, it's looking hurt. It's starting to... It's starting to uh, the feathers are flying off in all directions. They're swimming down. Uh, 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 Scrim is prone on the ground uh, adjacent to the... the party that is gathering, and it's now 23 feet above the air. Uh, you're near. Um, we're gonna bring this down! So, it's 23 feet in the air. In the air, thank you. Uh, I can't fly yet, I don't think. No. I fly now? Uh, <laughs> he flies! <laughs> he flies now! Oh, he flies now! <laughs> they fly now! Winnie and I make that joke all the fucking time yeah. about all sorts of stupid shit. <laughs> uh, I, somehow, this feathered serpent has returned. <laughs> Uh, what I will say, it's more stupid that he returned, but it's not stupid for Poe to say that. He wouldn't have any fucking idea about, like, Palpatine or Sith or magic or anything. Like, he would say... No, so that was Oscar <laughs> Isaac sighing at the stupidity of the line. <laughs> yeah. That no, was Oscar... But I- Poe's character also would say it exactly like that. Even if there was a really, really good justification for why Emperor Palpatine came but back. But how would he not know that it is canonical <laughs> that Palpatine <laughs> came back in Fortnite? <laughs> That's not a joke. Yeah, how would he? How would he is coming happen? back happened in Fortnite. I know that. <laughs> anyway, you want to know what's important? All right. <laughs> Side cul de sac. I uh, leap off the <laughs> caribou and I say, keep her safe. And the caribou will gallop away with her. Be sure. Further back. <laughs> you got it, Mr. J. I want to steal. <laughs> you uh, got it, Mr. J. I'm going to steal. I will walk girl. under the beast. 23 feet in the air. Let's go. And I will look at Barnabas, and I will look at Scrim. <laughs> and 
I will say, cover your ears. Oh, I'm going to no. raise my staff up okay. in the sky. Okay. I'm holding onto the rope! And Uh-oh. I'm going to cast Rolling Thunder. Oh, shit. Uh, so as I say, Olden, bring this beast down, and you're going to hear a huge clap of thunder uh, blast from me, 30 feet uh, radius sphere. So we do get hit. Yes. Okay. Everyone needs to make a con saving throw. <laughs> Jesus. We're chill, we're chill. I'm a Viking at that. 16. Con- you're good. It's going to be on the, on the cusp. There. I crush it. Yeah, 17 for me. Actually, don't crush it, but I, I succeed. <laughs> I do, in fact, beat it. I'm gonna move my hand over here and grab yeah, my. Follow Austin oh, Milt. thank you, Austin Milt. Ooh. Twenty. It passes. Uh. Ooh. So no one's knocked prone, but everyone will take half of this. <laughs> <laughs> and regardless, yeah, everyone's. Deafened. <laughs> 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 one round. Go your Until the beginning of yours. Is uh, uh, Until the start how. of. Go for your it's ears. It's next turn. Oh, it will uh, not help. We should have deafened. Take an American Airlines with a head cold. Oh. Uh, only 15 points of damage, so half Holy of that is. Shit. Half of that is what? So, seven. 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 so yeah, you just take seven. I was trying to knock it from. Oh my gosh. I would have been really cool, okay? It would have been cool if it failed. <laughs> right. It's a high con boy. I rolled a 13. Uh, yeah, um, I feel like as a Triton, I should be now. Uh, Austin Mill says, y'all got some amazing energy. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Stick around. Sure. There's a lot of that. Really, yeah. There is Twitter a lot Discord, of energy. You like it. Uh, and ranch dressing. Uh, <laughs> it's going to, it has recharged its ability uh, and meant to project this last round. Uh, I roll a five or six just like a dragon's breath. And so it's going to shake. And That's this cold. cloud of cold is going to explode outward. <laughs> I need everyone to make a... DC 15 Constitution saving throw if you're within 20 feet of it. Crush it. Nailed I pass. It. I got a 20. Scrum's hanging in there. Wait, if we're t- within 20 feet? Yeah. It's 23 feet in the air. Isn't It'll it? use its movement to come down. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow, Smooth E. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. He's smooth. Uh, 25 points of cold damage if you fail. Oh my god. Oh. Did anyone fail? No. no. Uh, DC's what, sorry? Uh, DC 15. is 15. Passed. 12, so we take 6. So everyone, yeah. And you are... We take 6. Okay. They what was, the, what was the, the total damage? 25. 25. If you fail. And half, half that if you... Yeah. So 12, 12 if you succeeded. And uh, that'll be its action and movement. Uh, it is now... 10 feet above the ground, flopping. Uh, oh, have you been, it's slow as concentration, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. great, 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 great. Yep. And the follow, fall me, uh, 87. It's Thank now you. in a fight or for its life, me. but that's the conclusion of its or turn. Scream, you're up. I will uh, have just gotten absolutely rocked by thunder <laughs> and ice crystals. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear shit. I can't hear yeah, anything. Anyway. Uh, I will st- I like, I'll use half my movement to stand up shakily. Uh, raise my hand up to it, and I'm just gonna yell, God, die, you bastard! And I'm gonna shoot two uh, Eldritch Blasts at it. Let's go. I believe both will hit. That's gonna be a 17 and a 21. 13. Let's go. Uh, so that's gonna be two D10s. Thank you for the gifted sub, Paul. Oh, thank you, Paul, yeah, for the gifted you. sub. Uh, nine points of damage. All right. Nine points of damage is nine points of damage. Easy money. Uh, it's still uh, looking weak, but it's not quite at the end. Uh, that's Queenie's turn. She's going to continue to... She's going to stay where she is. Yeah. Now that she's in uh, no longer disadvantaged town, she's going to get a natural 20. Hey. Oh! Uh, she roll higher than a one on her D8. A two <laughs> and an eight. 15 points of damage. Oh, okay. Not bad. How do good. I want to do this? No, I'm not I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> uh, she, she doesn't kill it, but she uh, it, it's hitting. She, as she's been getting closer, she's just been. 
Walking. <laughs> Walking. It's just it's machine, machine like, like for sale. Yeah. <laughs> she's hitting, but she's been missing all the uh, all the weak spots. This time she hits it like right through the side of the neck. And oh, it's, it's pointing it's like out. Like uh, Game of Thrones. No, not even walking. She's just riding on her bees. The bees are scary. <laughs> yeah, uh, the bees have turned into a Nimbus cloud. <laughs> what's, uh, what's the name of the Terminator from T two? T one thousand. The T one thousand is just. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, she's T one thousand right now. Barnabas, you're up. I am going to look End up, it. and I'm going to say, okay, now you're coming to me, beastie, and my manta ray wings will just leap, and I'm just going to jump up to it with letting go of the rope as I pull my anchor off, and this is my athletics check to see how f- high I jump, very fucking oh, high, yeah, pretty fucking uh, big. 23 feet. So I'm going you can to actually take jump my up anchor above it first, yeah, and up now above her, and now I'm going to uh, have it in piercing mode, uh, and not bludgeoning mode. As I'm going to bring it down okay, uh, okay, recklessly. Okay. Love it. Natural twenty. Oh, oh my god. god! He done. He done. Natural twenty. Oh! oh! Do you brutal critical Who yet? needs I do, I do not have brutal critical uh, yet, unfortunately. Brutal, brutal critical then? You roll an extra die on top of oh, that. Oh, so that's crazy. That'll be 4d12. Wow. Right? Yeah. yeah. How are you going to hit it twice? You're just going to hit it so hard once? It's going to yes. feel yeah, like yeah, twice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's basically <laughs> just like, I am like, this is the kill shot. I have killed so many sea serpents. Yeah. He's like, oh, he's got some feathers, but eh, it's the same. Mm-hmm. Same principle, BC! Uh, and I'm going to roll uh, Amazing. this. Okay. Uh, oh well, two ones, not great. Oh uh, no. Uh, oh, but two. Oh, but then a ten and a twelve, so nice. uh, twenty-two, uh, twenty-three, twenty-four, uh, thirty-four, uh, thirty-eight points of, uh, of nice. piercing damage. How do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will leap. Yeah, violently. I will leap into the air and I will soar up with my manta ray wings. And I will look at it and it will feel like I'm, and especially with the thunder cracking overhead, it's like it's like uh, diving into a sea serpent with a storm raging around me. Oh, and uh, there'll be a bloodlust in my, it's a very bestial uh, bloodlust as I will just take my anchor and where Queenie had pierced it, mm-hmm. I will aim in that to basically uh, slam my anchor in and basically yank it down to rip its head off, potentially. Uh, if I can, you get you get the anchor just behind the the yeah. uh, uh, knob right. of the skull, and I would say with the amount of damage that you did and how weak it was in that moment, and how many uh, injuries that it had taken previously, you are able to pull its neck out, and a few oh, chunks yeah! of spines come al- uh, of spine come along with it, and it immediately stops flapping and falls to the ground, slumping down, blood pooling in the uh, ice and snow of this uh, uh, sea. And I I want to have uh, mounted the back of it and like basically hook it under the skull to yank its skull off, (laughs) rip its head off, and then like kind of basically ride it as it falls down, covered in (laughs) fucking serpent blood. Feathers feathers plume out in all directions and you realize that the beast has been felled. Oh, he's just like the old days, lads! <laughs> ah, nice of you to uh, join the uh, fight here, Tai Shen. Thanks oh my for, gosh, are you okay? Helping. Oh yeah, nope, I'm alright, just covered in serpent blood and Bonobo's uh, spit. But other than that, we're good. I, d- I was shocked you survived that fall. It looks so high. Don't worry about me. Just let's worry about Daisy. Uh, oh, I scream is a hearty lie. Nice firing there, Mr. Yornier. I didn't even know you had a mounted companion. Nice shots there, Miss March. She says thank you. And uh, in that moment, impressive. you hear the clopping of the caribou's um, feet. And uh, it's being guided by Daisy. Thank you. That really sucked. <laughs> that was close. But the old gods, they saw you through. You saw me through. I wouldn't be alive if it hadn't been for your healing magics. And your, your icy slow. It's the only reason we even got here. And your magic caribou, let's not forget that. <laughs> the power of the Arctic is strong, as we can see. I'll sort of look around at the tundra. Seriously, um, you have to teach me how to do these things. <laughs> we can do this. Between myself and Queenie, we can 
show you how to harness the primal energies. I'm, I'm ready. Uh, can we eat that thing? Boy, I am going to cook up quite a celebratory feast. I'll, I'll sort of, like, kneel down and just get a sense. If I feel like it's just a, a beast or, like, a monster, yeah, I think we... If you want right? to mm, figure out how heavy it is and how much could be harvestable for rations, then you can make that check. But you could also look to see if you can find anything special about it. Yeah, I'd like to do either or both, whatever. Let's put pack both of them into an Arcana check. Ooh, Arcana. Ooh. Um, mm. and while he's doing this, I would also like to, regardless of what the outcome is... Uh, when we are harvesting it, try to get some small bones, maybe from its wings. Natural 20. It would be extremely Jeez. easy to um, yeah. find its bones. Now, uh, its bones you find are hollow, yeah, uh, very need, lightweight, but you're able to find just a, need few, a few that are, you know, just a handful of whatever. That I can stick in my bag. You do that. Thank you. 21. With a 21, uh, you are able to find that. Um, its feathers are especially unusual. There aren't very many left after its experience in combat, but uh, just like that cloud of frost that it was able to produce, you could collect some of them, and uh, if you brushed this with uh, one of these feathers, it would consume the feather, but it, that would become uh, difficult terrain, basically an icing feather. Oh. And uh, with a 21, I would say that you were able to get both of its eyes. These Ooh. special eyes, if you wanted to harvest them, uh, yeah. they do seem to have a, uh, a quality of uh, charismatic magic in them. And mm -hmm. if you wanted to uh, crush one, it would give you a plus five bonus to any charisma check made within six seconds. Oh, here you go, Mr. Yornir. What could I, what would I call this beast? Do, do I know what this is? A uh, year falcon. A year falcon. J-Y-R? G-Y-R falcon. Oh, G-Y-R. Yep. Um, and you probably haven't heard of anything like this in Mammut, but uh, it just seems natural to call it this. Um, do I feel like the feathers could be used for Queenie to make like barding for arrows, to turn them into like frost arrows? You can roll a d20 to see stuff. how many you collect, and if you want to role play that with her in future campfire yeah, settings, then do yeah. that. Nine. You collect nine feathers. And you collect one d two eyes. Queenie, I thought you liked this. Thing. And it, uh, it with with the arcana that you're able to make, and with Barnabas's help, you could collect three hundred pounds Jesus. of meat uh, oh, from shit. its body, which is basically like two huge chicken breasts. It, it is it is a uh, 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 actually a, a hearty beast, and there's more than enough meat to go around. I would help harvest in any way that I can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say, uh, shall we all harvest the beast? Queenie jumps right in to assist, and you're very quickly you're lifting wings, you're cutting, you're, you're pulling skin I'll back. Have, you're, I'll you're, have my uh, paring knife. I sh uh, I'll just create a bonfire right near us. Yeah. Um, it's presumably cantrip I'll style take, or yeah, or, cantrip style. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just uh, ignite a bonfire right in our area, assuming that we'll stay, even if it's like, you know, 15 minutes, just around like fucking freezing. It's still morning, Taishan. When I was up there before I fell, I was still alive in my mind. I can't imagine what would have happened if I'd been taken to the nest. It would have been horrifying, but there is a, not like a waterfall, but a, like a vapor. I think there might be warmth. Like a hot spring. <gasps> like Ooh. steam. Not far from here. You think you saw steam? <laughs> exactly. Oh, you think we can fit this uh, beastie on the sledge with uh, your caribou? We don't have the sledge. Oh, we don't? Did it get destroyed? We left it at the house. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were in, we were in a little <laughs> bit of a hurry back there at the house. We went over a waterfall. <laughs> oh, boy, that's right. We, uh, yeah, they, it was almost certainly burnt. It would have, it would have, it, would, they, it was left at the, like, welcome mat. Right, yeah, the right house. at the front I, I hit my... is dead. Grab the sledge. <laughs> I, I hit my head, uh, when I, when I took a tumble there. <clears throat> Oh, it's been so long since I killed a beastie like that. 
I mean, if we, uh, if we can cook, at least for now, we can try to prepare as much as we possibly can, pack that up, and just carry what we can. Uh, it's the only thing I can think of. I think that before we finish harvesting it, maybe we keep the carcass intact, tie it to my caribou, and it drags the corpse to mm. the spring and we deal with it there. That would work too. Oh, I can clean it, especially if there's a hot spring and it gets I hate filthy. to wait that long for food though. Ah. There's a bonfire and perhaps you sizzle up a few morsels. Yeah, let's, let's, have, a quick, let's have a quick breakfast here. Just, just a you, have a sample, quick, maybe. you have a brunch. <laughs> Ooh. And uh, and it, there's water. There isn't anything to uh, uh, to down it with, uh, aside from um, you know fro- melted snow. But uh, the meat is delicious. Um, mm. It is uh, it's somewhere in between uh, chicken and duck. Um, and with a little salt and a little of uh, Barnabas' estuary, uh, you're Let's able go. to have a very satisfying oh, it's meal. All. It's actually very difficult. You almost have to make a wisdom saving throw to stop cooking the meat and make your way to the hot spring. But you find a way. And just as uh, Daisy said, you three, four hours walk, you hear the sound of rushing water. And the change in temperature is real. The change in vegetation is real. No longer are you in uh, surrounded by trees of just pure winter, but uh, lichen and moss and ferns seem to adorn the rocks. All uh, uh, Dracarian ferns. Uh, all of them. Uh, you're able to approach what is very clearly a natural hot spring. This water in such cool uh, climate such as this is billowing hot air. You can see that this is not uh, uh, that this is a very cold place, but a beautifully warm water just underneath some some like volcanic movement or something is keeping it extremely warm. And uh, you can, it almost feels humid. For the first time in months you, it's not just the sauna, it's a place of warmth. And that's where you find yourself in, I'd say, two, three in the afternoon. This is a very good eye. Uh, I'll turn to her and sort of nod. Oh, well done, young lady. Especially being captured by a massive bird of prey. So so to... We're good to just like go in there and take a dip, right? This isn't a ghost stream, stream, is it? And she she starts to undress and immediately also I, yeah, dives I'm into right the hot I'm I'm ripping off all my clothes down on my skivvies, <clears> and I'm like, I'm going right. Well, I'm not going to dive in because I'll boil alive. <laughs> I'm going to like ease my way in and like dip a foot in and a toe and make sure it's not like crazy hot and like. <clears throat> it's just a hair over a hundred degrees. I get right. I slip all the way. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're careful. You're careful not to hit any like stones or anything that were like where you'd actually have danger, right? You're still ro- watching out for fire. By the time you get five feet in, you do not feel like that is an issue. It just feels warm under your feet, like heated flooring. Yeah, I'm, uh, my my poor battered body is, is healing in the hot tub. Instantly. Oh, yeah, this is uh, like a combination of a sea serpent and a griffin. Interesting to process. I suppose we'll clean up after, uh, after you finish processing the beastie. Yes, we could perhaps take care of this, and then we can enjoy a nice day. I'll be covered in guts if I, once I cl- clean up, if I clean up now. All right. I'm okay, you. cover your nose! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, those are good eats. Ooh, a gizzard. So maybe like if, if, if you have process. the stomach and you go through it, you find parts of what are clearly very digested kobold. Oh... Wait, well, uh, I don't remember any of their names, but, uh... Egrid. Egrid! Uh, sorry, lad, I'll... We'll dig a hole for your bones. <laughs> but for now... Ooh, look at this liver! Oh! Oh, this is... This river, the, yeah, it looks like it's, uh, uh... It could be a raspberry for how red and, and uh, rich it looks. Oh, this is beautiful. Especially when you've ripped the head of the thing off yourself. 
Barnabas clearly being in his element, the five of you, the six of you, including Daisy, uh, start to enjoy uh, the evening. Um, starting to feel like you've taken the first step on your journey, but remembering that Strakar can be a brutal and dangerous place. Uh, it's for just this this evening. Uh, 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 a contrast, a bittersweet feeling to know that danger lies around every corner, but that if you stick together and, and show teamwork, you'll be able to survive. And you start to ease into the evening. But before the sun sets, there's a rustling sound, a sound just in the tree lines, because you have to get through sort of a dense thicket, I would say, in order to find this hot spring. You're surrounded by trees in all directions. You hear a... And before any of you can react, maybe oh, some of you are in the pool, some of you are eating, some of you are, are sitting enjoying uh, your, your leisure time, out from the trees bursts a giant ogre. It lands down in front of you. It is bizarrely wearing a, for lack of a better word, a uh, pastel pink robe. And it is a bald and hideous, hugely muscular hands, and it is slobbering and screaming in all directions as it jives into the space, uh, very clearly uh, looking to, to fight, to uh, trying to intimidate. What do you all do? Um, well, I mean, I, I don't know. I shit in the hot tub. Like, <laughs> I poop my pants. No, I, I don't know. I mean, I would like, I would try to climb up and out and like get to my clothing and like get prepared to defend myself. You start to make your way up, and it uh, it, it immediately swings down with its arm and crashes through uh, some of the uh, uh, the camp uh, site that you've made. <laughs> Uh, I'll cast slow. Wait, can I cast slow on it? Get out of my swamp, my hot spring! <laughs> in my last what? spell slot, I'll reach up and try to coat him in ice and have him slow down a little bit. Uh, what are the components of slow? Uh, molasses. It's my molasses drop. Verbal or somatic? Oh, uh, verbal, somatic, and material. Okay. Uh, as soon as you do this, it makes it, uh, uh, what is it, wisdom saving throw? Uh, wisdom saving throw, yeah. DC 16. It rolls a natural 18. Um, but it stops as soon as you make this attempt to uh, slow it via your magics. It stops and looks at you with this confused look. Good lord! <laughs> it can speak! Father! Father! And you hear a second sound, a crashing through the trees, and another much older looking ogre bursts through the tree line. What's that, Julian? I'm sorry? I'm, Father! I'm naked, dripping from the hot tub, like reaching for my clothes in stunned silence as I look up at these creatures. It spoke! With the creature, the humanoid spoke! Oh my god, are they speaking? I. Will have been. I don't know if, if Tyson is with me at the fire. <laughs> yeah. uh, we would yeah. have built. I would have built a smoking, uh, mm. a smoking uh, hut or whatever out of like the fern leaves and and we would have built it. The, it would be like a cartoonish. Uh, giant like turkey Flint, on a spit. Flintstone style. Yeah. yeah, on a spit on a Flintstone yeah, yeah. style, and I would be like holding the spit like from turning it like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, uh, 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 year Falcon. Uh, the, the, they, they, they're, they're clearly looking at each other bef b b befuddled, and, uh, the, the, the father, uh, yes, 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 of course, of course, of course, uh, he reaches down, and you all hear splashing sounds. That's what I figured, yeah. Uh. And, uh, the father, uh, 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 he sp speaks something in giant. You understand. Ancestors give me strength. And... This unbelievable humming sound, this purple swirling energy emanates from this wand with this orb at the top, and you all feel yourself immediately grow sleepy and black out. Oh, Don't no. take my skull. <laughs> and that is where we'll call tonight's oh. session.
And so, I'll see you in fucking eight weeks or whatever it is. Eight weeks. Okay, so that's a good point. We do have some, uh, we got some scheduling oh, announcements. Oh, uh, shit. If you are new to our stream or, uh, you know, haven't hung around too much, then we, the gang will be back on Wednesday. I will not be here. Uh, for the normal Wednesday stream that everybody has weekly uh, stream, DM by Nikki, which is uh, Once Upon a Witch Light at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so make sure you come back for that then. We also have a scheduled for September 17th, a Saturday session of Beneath Dark Wings, which is DM by Mikey. Starts at 2 p.m. Eastern Time and goes well into the evening. It's an all-day Saturday thing. And then the next episode of this campaign, like Derek so begrudgingly said, is October 28th. Holy shit! So we have almost almost two months uh, because of just the way that it's kind of lined That's up. That's not normal. We That's usually not normal. try to... to Basically, the longest break we try to go for is like three to five weeks. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, but there's October a lot of vacations. Is a very crazy month yeah. for us. Derek's going to be in Spain for two weeks, and then we're going to Anime USA. So anyway, the cool thing about that is that the next time we play this campaign That's on right. October 28th, it will be this channel's fifth year anniversary. That's right. So, so uh, put it on your calendars. It's on our public calendar. Um, and we're going to wake up in High Mall. Yeah. But there's a lot of stuff in the meantime yeah. going on too, so you know. That was a great. great. We're, we're also on Discord. Yeah. yeah, we're on Discord pretty much yeah. all the time, twenty four seven. So check out our if, socials between streams. We're chatting and and laughing about all kinds of fun yeah. stuff. Sorry, continue. Uh, no, know. that's that's really it. I just wanted to say that the make sure you come back on Wednesday. Uh, get ready for September seventeenth. I think I said, uh, which would be beneath Dark Wings tentatively, um, and then you know all these Wednesdays until we have the next episode of Icebound. Yeah, and then we uh, are we have a Patreon. Hang out if you're into that. Um, if you join at the Mind Flayer tier or higher, we have a monthly hangout. It's a little two hour sort of intimate session with us where we chat and we answer your questions, and usually we talk about a specific topic. Um, that will be on September 25th. Uh, so that's something else that's coming up. Yeah. Um, other than that, anything else? We have some up? exciting announcements to probably coming up. What's so. next, Andy? Yeah, we do have some exciting announcements coming up, and uh, we're true. excited to share. Yeah. Uh, okay, great. So now we're going to jump into a Vanish and Chill. So don't go anywhere. Where we discuss the session, we answer all of your questions and talk, uh, read out all your comments, and we talk about our favorite moments. So stick around. May I get in character and feast on some bird while we? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's gonna say no to okay. that.